Okie dokie, we should be live right now. Well, mayhaps a little music to start off the day. There is that. I think that list. I think that list you made me. There's enough songs in there to. to put it on randomizer. So this is exactly what I'm gonna do. Shuffle. You mean you've never been doing that? No, no. <laughs> now there's like enough that I'm I'm sure there's a low chance it's going to repeat. Oh, hello, GZ. Welcome. Hey, Chicky. It's my name. It's good to be the family. Do you consider me? Uh-huh. Sorry, what'd you say? It gave me a survey about digital movie downloads. Oh. <laughs> You were yesterday out there. There we go. Well, yeah, I literally said that yesterday. And hello, people. I. I have been. Streaming Path of Exiling uh, inconsistently, remember? I said that I needed... I, uh, not that I needed, I wanted to play a little more to make sure that I was getting uh, the things that I need done and the League done. Thank you for the cheer, my love. There's also another thing I gotta change. Like, it's m more on my end than anything else. Also, I upscaled an emote, by the way. Yesterday, I had some extra time and I... Upscaled this emote right here. Also, let me do a, let me do one of these and then oh, that's kind of cringe. Why would those show up? There we go. Did it delete my entire message? <laughs> it, it deleted my entire message, didn't it? It did. Look, it just there's just, just the emote in there now. Fine. I'll write it again. Oh, wait, why is it... No, oh, of course. Anyway. <laughs> you still left him darker than the other guys. Darker? Oh, yeah, of course. On purpose? Mm-hmm. Because it's, it's meant to be a Pepe, so... Pe Pepe's, they, they have a darker color in general. I need that, and that is going to get pinned there. Alright, it's going to help me wake up a little bit, this music. 
Oh yeah, I forgot I had a power outage yesterday, so my computer turned off. Gotta reopen a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Ooh, I'm almost there. What is this? Ghost Veil Helmet. Looks pretty. Almost there. Uh, there's like this, um... There's like this, um... Um... Battle Pass, if you will. Here on, uh... On the Path of Exile. And I'm almost getting to the end of it. Not, not the paid Battle Pass, the free Battle Pass. Pay Battle Pass gives a bunch of um, cosmetics and other stuff, but it's not it's not that big. All right, cool. Huh. All right, map tier sixteen, my first map tier sixteen ever, I think. Ever, ever. No, uh, in this league. Oh boy. Hang on, I, there's another thing I gotta do. I gotta pull the, the game screen all the way over there. That might change something in the stream. So I gotta... Change, yeah, exactly. I can see it already did. There we go. Um, fit to screen, no. There, okay. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. Uh, Outplayer, getting one shot in Path of Exile is part of the game. That's literally all that is. Getting one shot is just another day in Path of Exile. If I could show a graph of how many people get one shot at in this game every day, it would be high at all times. Like, quite in fact, quite in fact, the statistics for this game are very crazy, because... Apparently, this game is either hard enough or uninteresting enough for, like, casuals, that... Apparently, 80% of the people that start playing on the new league stop before reaching maps, which is, like, post-main campaign. Ooh, leg, 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 leg all around. What's happening? Or better yet, why it's happening? Do I have like Photoshop open still or something? No. Um. Maybe it's just this map. This map is laggy or something. I don't know. I need more mana. I need to try and purchase from a player another gem, and I hope it doesn't suck the life out of my body. <laughs> oh, that's true, dude. That's true. That's true. That's true. Hang on. Um. That's true. I gotta. I gotta pay my dues. That's true. I, I, I'm so generous. I am so generous. I am going to let you choose. Because I'm so generous. There we go. You're welcome. Free car. 
or a picture of one that is. Uh, maximum additional gem, yes. Immune to chaos, yes. Fractured item, yes. yes Movement. Can shock. Kill things on low life, sure. Damage. Lightning. Cannot leech a wish not to take that though. Tends to avoid all damage. Eh, sure. Ah, eh, fine. Good enough. Yeah, don't forget, just one. You can't take more than one. If you take more than one, you officially is a criminal. And you shall, oh, and you shall be jailed for 15 whole minutes. I need more mana. Yes, 15 whole minutes in the naughty corner with all the other criminals. And who are the other criminals, you may ask? Oh, Divine. Who are the other criminals, you may ask? People do, who don't wash their hands after they go to the bathroom and they take a shit? People who put too much sugar in their black coffee because they can't drink it otherwise, but they don't feel like ordering something a little bit more mild because they want to try and prove themselves to this particular standard in their own heads. And the French. <laughs> All of them. On the naughty corner. Well, well, and then they're gonna go to the super naughty corner, and they're gonna spend another fifteen minutes there too. Uh, hang on, I closed that place. There we go. Now. Apply my auras. There we go. Um, go here. That's still set correctly. Nice. Oh, I forgot one. Open. There we go. So apparently there is a strat for farming that I just learned before I started streaming today. I saw one of the Path of Exile streamers that I follow sometimes posted a new video and I just kind of browsed around a little bit to see what it was about. And apparently there is a farming strat that apparently is currently kind of broken. And he's doing it before it gets nerfed. And he was afraid to even post in the video because it was going to ruin for, for him and everyone else. Because if everyone starts doing the same thing, it might ruin the prices of the stuff that he's doing, right? And... Uh, Uh, sadly, it uses one of the mechanics that I despise the most. The more you kill, the more you change my map. Okay, so down and right. Either go up, I guess. 
Lello Exile. Well, let me get out of here before I die. It's so laggy. Yeah, I gotta do this, and then I gotta go up again because I don't want to kill that guy. I want to kill the other one. Go. Correct boss. Dead. I'm gonna killing everyone else now. Oh, I'm sorry. Killing everyone else in the video game YouTube algorithm. Not in not not anything bad. It's in the video game. How's this guy taking so long to die? Ooh. What the? Okay, that is chaos damage. I need to fix my chaos resistance. I just don't know how. I was in the middle of something. I I know I know I stopped talking, but anyway, the, there was he was talking about a, a mechanic that I absolutely despise, and that mechanic is ultimatum. I hate ultimatum. Ultimatum is extremely hard for me. Has always been. Even with like my some of the most powerful builds I've ever had in my life, I still hated doing ultimatum because. It was a mechanic that, to me, took a very long time to complete, and it never really rewarded me that well. Even though it is rewarding if you do it consistently. Um. Oh, damn it, I forgot another one. I need to start opening portals along the way so I don't... Um... I have to keep doing the walk of shame all the time. Uh, flame workshop, timeless one left down, the whatever. Time to go.
I'm gonna go up a little bit, kill some of these people. Okay, well, Chaos Damage is literally ruining my life in this game right now. <laughs> I have no idea how to fix it right now, though. But in theory, I am to have, like, 90 of, like, every resistance and 75 of Chaos. How? No idea. I just opened... Path of building here again just to maybe see try and see something but aside of not having like high level and not being able to be high level because I keep dying all the time. Um this is yeah it's in the domain. Oh there's like the stuff that I need. There's that thing, apparently. I need that. Because there's a... there's a, Every single time you die in Path of Exile, you lose... Um, you lose experience. So... Every, every death is not only just a punishment because you lose a portal, meaning you lose one of your chances of completing the map, you also get punished by losing experience. It's not a extremely problematic or big. Uh, when I'm ready, what? what? Not no, I don't know. A lot of punishment, but it adds up over time. It adds up a lot over time, right? If you're trying to level your character, but you can't stay alive for five seconds, you just pretty much never level your character. Too much clutter. And levels in this game are extremely powerful. Getting your character to level 100 not only is a symbol of status, in my opinion. I'd never done it. I'd never, ever done it. Um... Yeah, so long as you don't use the bottom face. Yeah, up the and whatever. The more time to go.
job. They should call that room the last Oh, there we go. Tier 3 and Tier 3 at the same time. I, so here's the thing. Both of these is... Both of those are excellent. But I don't know if having both of them... Sorry, not, not, not these two. Uh, both of these here are excellent. I don't know if having two of them increases the, increases the value of this temple or not. Because... I don't know, maybe everyone who is... Purchasing this thing that I'm about to sell, either go for one or for the other. Like I don't know, I don't feel like having both is just a waste. I don't know. And when I mean a waste, not because they're a waste to be there together, but they would be a waste for me to trying to sell them because I won't be able to price it accordingly. You know. It's like selling. It's like selling um, toys with batteries not included. You know, they're not included for several reasons. If you leave batteries inside of a toy, they can just uh, they can just. Uh, like, you know, get old and they start leaking inside and damages the product. Where's the boss? Where'd it go? Oh, come on, ah, dude. That's so f stupid. I hate that. Oh, great. Oh, wow, great. Oh, oh, yeah. So nice. Finally. Okay, got a maze of the Minotaur. There's no way I can do the Minotaur, by the way. Why not? Too hard. Way too hard. If, I, if I've been complaining about getting one shot at it right now, Minotaur is the most one-shotty boss in this entire game. That oh, and maybe Cyrus. Literally, like, they, they are the textbook definition of what a one-shot looks like. A minor, the, the Minotaur on this game. But I got a Divine over there, though. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so I've been avoiding all this time. I've been avoiding even getting to the... Um, I've been avoiding getting to the... Um, to the necropolis and, like, browsing around. Because, I mean, I haven't crafted anything interesting at all there yet, so...
Okay, put points there, but was I going elsewhere? I don't know. Maybe here to get the... No, this is ultimatum. Where, where's the rest of this? Flesh merchants. Uh, maybe there, but I, I can't get there anymore. can go here then get that sure thing we'll get that uh okay let me try and make one purchase of the day it's something that i need so i need val summon skeletons it needs to be preferably level 21 and really really huh what if it's 21... Yeah, what if it's 2120? It's too cheap? 40. Okay. I'll pay 40. Whatever. I don't care. Let's give it. Give it. Oh, yeah. 1, 2, 40. There we go. I'll get it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, then maybe that helps more than Val... Uh, than Val... Uh, Haste, because Val Haste increases my minion speed, but it's not all that, right? Like, I needed, if, if I can have instead 50 minions on screen, as opposed to just maybe 10 minions on screen, but, you know, it's just more. It, it, it would do the same job as increasing their haste, would, but I'm just going to have more damage in there in general um there we go and where does that go skellies goes in the helmet with multi-strike elemental damage with attacks and someone carrying golem okay well i don't have that yet and i don't have that yet because my stupid armor doesn't let me but i can take haste out I can place determination elsewhere i guess maybe yeah, if I take the determination out and put it elsewhere. Well, I mean, anyway, I can't right now, so I'm just. Uh, well, I'm not using skitter bots because I can't. So there we go. And I can take Val Haste out, though. Yeah, Val Haste is nice and powerful, but can't use it. Not properly, at least. So, save it for later, because it's, it's an excellent, excellent ability. And I guess we'll leave it empty for now. Alright, so technically this is a Summon Skeletons level 22. Because of the... Simply because of the... Awakened Minion support in here. But shouldn't I have... Yeah... Oh no, they, they removed it. Yeah, I remember, they removed it. Yeah. There was a particular point I could spend on the Necromancer tree that gave the plus one level to all minions, and they removed that because apparently it was super broken. Did you ever get to use it? Before? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I, I tried to do a, a purely zombie uh, build before, like with all sorts of goodies and stuff like i had a, like a really gigantic amount of money to try and make it and it, it was fun i didn't get it to go all the way to the top but it was it was fun okay now um i don't have a map pool yet so might as well start running whatever difficulty of map i can do just to get the just to get the ball rolling right Increase damage, sure. How about something else? Humanoids, Frenzy, Power Charge. Number of rare monsters, perfect. Uh, increase damage, stronger than the pack. Chromatic Orbs. Sure. Eh, eh, whatever. I don't know, whatever. Whatever. 
I still need to buy a particular amulet called Ashes of something blah blah blah, and that's gonna give me plus one to all my minion gems and a bunch of other good stuff as well. Oh, am I cursed with uh, Assassin's Mark permanently? Oh, I can already use it. There we go. Let's use all my minions. There we go. Nice. But also, when skeletons like charge up super fast. Bleeding, damage can freeze. Sure, we can take those. That that one is a no for me. That one is a yeah. I suppose that one we can take. I always love a good Lightning. Risk. Yeah, culling strike for mobs. That's fine. Hold. Yeah, we can take that. Uh, maximum life. Mo hit can freeze. I don't wanna get that ten that twenty percent extra though. Kinda of scary. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe at the very end here is fine. Very often I see some minions not even attacking, probably because they don't have a path towards the target. I don't know if there's a way to fix that or if that is even like a problem or maybe it's intended, I don't know. I think it's time I start using scarabs as well because I've been farming for a lot and I collected a lot of like resources for later but I'm not using this late resources you know I'm just accumulating them not using not selling not doing anything so thinking about making a strat of some kind and then Seeing if it, if it works, somewhat okay. And if it doesn't, I still have the resources that can always sell them for profit. But, you know, there's only one thing in this game that I haven't done yet. And I tried. The past league I tried very hard. Getting to level 100. He gets crazy grindy. And I didn't do it because, admittedly, I just got bored of the idea. Especially because as the closer you are to 100, one death feels so bad. 
there are possibly some here's the thing there are ways that you can cheese the system you don't have to try and get a hundred manually right there are certain strats that you can like you know do for example you can just pay for a five-way uh timeless conflict and you just sit on a corner and somebody with one of those fucked up uh, one of those fucked up uh, extreme builds that cost more than I've ever ha had in this money. More than, I more than I've ever had in money in this game. To build. Just kills everything like a second. And you just, leech the you, you just leech the experience. And that's pretty much what people do. To like just get 100 quickly. Right? I don't know. I feel like I owe it to myself to do it once. In my life, once by myself at least, before using any weird strats like that. Oh. Yeah, even if just for a a tiny little meaningless badge of sense of pride and accomplishment, you know. I got to level ninety-seven, and then I was like, "Yeah, oh, I'm alright, thanks." There we go. Nothing like uh, having a more than 30 minions on screen or so. Skeletons all around. But in fact, do I... your skeletons? Oh yeah, all of them. Every single one of these with like a little green bar, they're all mine. Uh, but there's one thing though. Do I have a, a skin for skeletons? I don't think I do. I have for minions, I can make them look like, uh, mummies. Your raised zombie become animated mummies, cannot Why apply- you skin on a skeleton? You claim? What happened? Raised zombie, apply. Oh, there we go. Why would I put a skin on a skeleton? And I mean, when I mean skin, I mean cosmetic. You can't wear cosmetics if you don't have skin. Well then, I'll do. I do both. Where? Wait, wait, wait. Where is Ray's skeletons? Oh, Don't offer. That's not true. Look at all the Katrinas in Mexico. So. <laughs> uh. Oh, there I go. Okay, I don't. But what? What? What is there? That's my question. You know, whatever is there. Apparently, it's very, very expensive. Damn. Just to get something like that, 200 of these coins? A lot though. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's a lot. Like more than 50, more than 50 of my uh, Brazilian bingo bongo money, monopoly money. Anyway, there we go, they updated. Now I have mummies instead of zombies. <laughs> okay, um. Hello. Alright, let's find out what is there. Right? Let's find out what is there. Keep your life to your own. Also, I gotta get rid of these contracts here. Craft, maybe. This is a level 82, so it could be good. It could be really good. Loads of potential. Um... Okay, uh, go to Fragments, go to Scarabs, and let's see. We have Reliquary, but I've had... I never had a good luck with that anyways. 
Anarchy for Rogue Exile, Soul Fight, but I have full Soul Fight, I just can't do this stupid thing because it's hard for me apparently. Um, Tormented Scarabs. Okay. Tormented Spirits in area are replaced with unusual variants. Tormented Scarabs of release. 25% chance when you possess the monsters are. Okay, set free. That's good. But the thing is, that would be better if I paired it up with even more of that, right? So, like, ideally, for any scarab that I want to use, I double down with my. I double down with my Atlas, right? So, for example, right now I have. I have Alva, right? Incursion. I have Harvest. And I have a little bit of essence right here, right? And I have mostly, mostly expedition, because it's what I like to do. So, as far as harvest, we have area contains sacred grove. Cool. Life force dropped by harvest monsters in the area is duplicated. Harvest monsters in the area have 100% more life. 100% more life might be a little too difficult for me at the moment, due to my low damage. If I already had like 10 million DPS, that would be super easy. Super, super easy. And let's see, as far as Expedition goes... Okay, I have more. Area contains Expedition Encounter, that's fine. I'm, I'm pretty much getting one Expedition Encounter no matter what, as of late. Um, expedition have increased number of Runic Monster Markers, that could be good for dropping uh, more of the... Expedition logbooks and expedition encounters in the area have increased number of explosives and explosive radius. So, and th there's a middle ground one here that I never got. Remnants in exp uh, expedition encounters have two additional suffixes and prefixes. This is big. This is really big. How much does this cost? Cost one chaos orb. So maybe, maybe I should be stockpiling this. At this point, maybe I should be stockpiling this. Stockpile this, go to a low-level map, do all of it, maybe get like a bunch of like level 75-ish um, logbooks, and spam the level 75 ones. Now, strategies that, in my opinion, are much better in terms of loot, you can have Legion, but sadly, I don't think I can kill Legion properly. For for Legion, I need a build that I can kill the entire Legion in pretty much one tap. So for that, we have Val, uh, Val, Light, Arc Lightning, Lightning Arc, whatever. Um, <clears throat> Val Lightning, I think that's just the name of it. Uh, we have maybe a. Um, an ignite, uh, ignite with a bow using a, a skill that I forgot the name, or even the even a a good cast on damage taken one would would serve. But for Legion, albeit I really enjoy it, I can't do it with a necromancer, not not right now. Breach is doable. But breach is kind of hard. Strong boxes. What do we have about strong boxes in here? I don't think strong boxes are like super excellent. Strong. Not here. Strong boxes. So. Contains additional. Corrupted or rare. And rare have to be openable again. And then, divinations are duplicated. Strong bosses and maps are duplicated. Currency items from strong box are duplicated. I don't, I don't think this is gonna be good for me. Why not? Because, <sighs> well, strong boxes are notoriously Bad? Notoriously bad. Or at least that has been my experience so far. They either don't ever drop anything, 
or they just you know they, they they drop a bunch of stuff but it's like never really that good that has been my experience i know some people have extreme luck with this and they get all the good stuff that's not me that has never been me sadly now let's see the harbinger stuff Harbingers, okay, three additional Harbingers, uh, drop rare currency shards, single type of currency shard. Uh, this could be, okay, so they drop rarer and they drop, uh, they drop just a single type. Uh, Harbingers in area, chance to be replaced by a powerful Harbinger boss and currency duplicated. How much is this? Two Chaos Orbs, so no one cares about that. Domination Scarabs for Shrines. No, oh, Shrines are... Well, Shrines. Blight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sounds about right. We have Betrayal. But Betrayal is a mechanic that is always done because... The, the mechanic itself is pretty good when you get to a uh, hideout that's neither here nor there. Uh, essence Scarabs. Well, Essences are always really good, so... This is really big right here. Wow. No wonder it's so expensive. Abyss is kinda okay. Incursion. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Maps. Ambush for additional strong boxes. That is a little more expensive. Surprisingly. Really, the first one because more. Fair enough, for more is more. Yeah, and then you have these ones that are just simply good, period. And Delirium. Delirium has always been the mechanic that people go to. But none of them seem to be like any in any way particularly expensive. What about Ultimatum? Yeah. Ultimatum, here we go. Ultimatum Scarab, three Chaos Orbs, one Chaos Orb, and the big one, the Ultimatum of Inscription, one Chaos Orb. Right. And this one, yeah, 48 Chaos. Fair enough. Um... Yeah, I don't... I'm, I'm not sure. I have a lot of these, I'm just not sure. There are certain mechanics that I just don't want to touch, period. I just don't want to... I don't want to see them. At least not with this build. I, if I do them, they have... There has to be a build that I can clear packs as fast as possible. Why? Because, as I said, Legion has a time limit. There's a time limit to what I can do. Um... Where is, where is the other one? Breach has a time limit to what I can do. Uh, Blight, too laggy for my computer. Can't, can't do it. Um, that's Mysterio, whatever. Ritual? Maybe we can do Ritual. Yeah, maybe we can do Ritual. I saw some interesting prizes now. They, they, they remade... What can be dropped in the rituals? Maybe that's the way to go. And we do have an entire. We have an entire. Um, we have an entire second um, atlas tree to play with if we like. So we could try. I made coffee. You made coffee? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. What is this? Necropolis. Necropolis? Oh, I didn't even saw that there. Did they put that here? Necropolis. Haunted monsters with 
unresolved anguish in your map, I have 25% chance to leave an additional corpse. Gain Graveskeeper Boon on collecting a corpse in your map. Gravekeeper's Boon causes you to consume a nearby corpse every second to recover 10% of life and mana for 30 seconds. That is so weird. Increases of haunted monsters to have unresolved anguish. And then we have Prospero's Wager. All corpses with unresolved anguish in your map have reveals a random craft when buried. I don't know what to think about this. Kyrak. Uh, scouting reports. Anyway, um, let's try to do mechanics that I know, that I know I can, I can solve. Right? For example, um, if I go here, I know I can do this, and this. There we go. That's this right here. I know I can do. Easy. Right? We can even get like uh, monsters, chance to drop additional rare items with an. The, the rare item doesn't matter, but the pack monsters in here matters. Then we have incursion. This is for Alva. This makes sense because I am making a lot of money with Alva, so it makes a lot of sense to me to get this. And then we can go over here and we can uh, delete a few of them. For example, Legion Encounters, like as I said, I can't do it properly. I can't do... Um, those are just fine. I don't, I don't much care about them, but they're, but they're fine. Um, I can't do this properly, but here we go. This is, no, this is Heist. Uh, Hawks, Hawk accompanies you on opening the first smuggler. I, I don't think I care. Ultimatum, can't do it, but here we go. Ritual 30% chance for ritual in the maps. So uh, let's get that. Where's more ritual? All the way up there. All the way up there. Okay, in the way there, I have more of this. We can go there too. What is this? Rogue Exiles. Sure. And we can have this Alva stuff here. And then we can get more of this, because it's pretty good. And then we go for the Ritual stuff. Right there. And what we have here is... Two times, rerolling favors, cost reduced, tends to contain... What is this? Between less, sure, we can get those because they're just good. Period. What else do we have there? Completing the final altar in your map to fight a field. Oh, that's cool. What else? There's that up there. What's that? The fearing favors cost 50% less. So you're different on the map. So repair 50% uh, sooner. Doesn't matter if you're go if you're gonna be spamming maps. Doesn't matter in my opinion. Necropolis, more necropolis. Haunted pack leaders in my tends to be rare. The spawn tormented spirits and collecting. I don't. I don't think I care. If they're putting this here, I wonder if this is going to be. This is this I care. The all flame. Embers, all flame. Yeah. Is there any more all flame in here? Up there and down here. More Necropolis. 30% um, effect devoted monsters in your map. Devoted modifiers. I don't know what that means. Haunted um, haunted modifiers in the Lantern of Animor are a tier higher. This may be difficult, but sure. I'm going to be doing blue maps. I don't think it matters. Haunted, uh, haunted and devoted modifiers are applied randomly to packs in your map. Monster packs in the map, 30% chance to have additional haunted modifier, embers, and all flame cannot be found. Hell no. What? Hell no. Are you fucking insane? That's disgustingly bad. Yeah, because I want to go up here to get more, and that one makes so that I get less. Or rather, not even less, none. The Searing Exarch. This is... Heist as well. Uh, heist contracts in a map 100% more likely to be required lockpick. I don't think I care about that. 
Beyond. Yeah, Beyond is another one of those mechanics. What is this? What is this? More incursion. Incursion map contain a cursed treasures. I don't know what cursed treasures are. So I guess it's time to find out. Go all the way there. Like this. One, two, three, four. Uh, map bosses chance to be surrounded by tremendous spirits. Tremendous spirits map uh, can possess me instead. We can get that because it's interesting, I guess. We can play a little bit. We get more all flame because I want the all flame stuff. I have 35 points still. That means since I got all the way here, now I can go there, here, get more essence stuff. And this is a different this is a different approach to my methods, right? This is something completely different. Have nothing to do with what I was doing before. But I do need to go here and pretty much grab all the strong box stuff. Like all of it. All of it. Then corrupted rare. If I could get that, I will. Is there any other route? No. Not that, I, not that I can see, so, okay, sure. Grab all of that, and now I have strong box stuff. Um, I have four. Four more. Well, I know Harvest is extremely powerful. I just can't get it anymore there. Well, double, well, I don't know. Uh, so fight doesn't matter. I'm not doing Nico right now. Do this for Harbinger, I guess. So this is a combination of Strongbox, Harbinger, Incursion, and Ritual. Be simply because those mechanics are super simple to do. They are super simple to do. And I'm just doing them instead. Well, first of all, I want to try them out. And... They are. They don't require a particular time limit for me to finish them. They are all things that happen by opening a map and just playing the game. They don't have a time limit. They don't have like this disgusting thing that can happen that can make my life super difficult. They're just simple, easy to do mechanics that I can repeat every single time I enter a map. So, and then I can buff. I can buff them using my scarabs and that's what i'm gonna try to do Bef but first i need to clean my inventory for s from certain items i don't want to waste those items so i'm gonna have to go um, change the subject altogether to this now did the sound yeah the music stopped there we go This. Okay. Your back. Let's uh, talk to everyone. Talk to Krast. Yeah. Sure. The key, the key is good night. A tra uh, traitorous scum took the life I could have had. I ain't, I ain't usually the forgiven type, but I feel in this case that I owe him a little gift. <laughs> the kiss good night. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, we're gonna put him to sleep and draw dick on his face? I agree 100%. We should do that. Prank him, John! <laughs> you got it. I'm fine. Tulina's engagement ring, sure. <sighs> and you have one too. This job. Mm -hmm. Right. Alright, one at a time, let's go. Uh, what is this one? Good idea, an administrator. Uh, sure, let's start from. Uh, Low level. Now, the the dream, the dream here is getting into a map, finding uh, diviner's strong box, and from that diviner's strong box, I get something really, really, really good. That would be the dream. The problem is that strong boxes, the strong boxes types are random. So, 
Ooh, I can just open whatever I want. And there are no consequences. Don't mind if I do. No consequences for stealing and thieving. Thank you so much. I'll take everything I want. What level is this? I don't... Oh, Wrath has... Ooh, yes, take it down. Yeah, I've been... I've, I've done this quest many times. Like, um... We're gonna negotiate with, like, a... Mafia boss or whatever. And then... The Mafia boss goes like, hey... Uh, give me the exile. Or... This is gonna mean war between our families. And then... The girl that's following me says, oh, well, I guess you know what that means, right, exile? We are at war. And then we... We have war against these guys. Because she ain't no snitch. Wait, what? Oh, it was right there. Right. Wow. Would you look at <laughs> Vic Vox? <laughs> Didn't think you'd come in person. How are you, Lady Kurai? Did you enjoy the book? We can skip the pleasantries, Vox. If you wish for this to be unpleasant, so be it. I want my book back. The book is no longer in my possession. Where is it? Where it belongs. Are we done? Kurai, Kurai, Kurai. Don't you feel you're being unfair? You did, after all, break into my home. You took something which I value. A return. Welcome back, Jizzy. Edition, signed by Victario himself. My parents, rest their souls, were so fond of his work that I was named after him. Am I not owed some sort of... Like, this whole interaction is kind of funny, because canonically, your character is literally... It's not even a god killer. It's an eldritch god killer. It's like this is the thief? literally the I thing that old gods yes. fear, you know? And there's this guy who's a criminal that wants me dead for some reason. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. You cannot be serious. I am deadly serious. Kill them now in front of me. And if I don't? Then I will consider the theft an act of aggression against the Vox family. An act of war. Oh, you leave me no choice. I'm sorry, Exile. Victoria Vox, it appears we are now at war. A stupid decision by a weak little girl. Goodbye, Mr. A Vox. A weak little girl. And regards girl. to your brother. <laughs> Alright, anyway, can, is, is, is it now Every when... There we go. Has casualties, could I? Any bloodshed is on you. Nah, it's fine. They're, they're just gonna die very fast. Don't worry about it. Oh, we'll take that. Oops. I mean, they're fighting. In fact, I don't think there should there's anything like scarier than picking a fight with a necromancer because if like even if you are at war with one, every single one of your soldiers that die just comes back against you. You know, should be like some scary stuff. Wait, what is giving me that? Oh, right, my... Oh, right, because I have them here. Wait, what? Did I just... Wait, what are... Are those phantasms? They can't be. I think I just... I think I just saw it wrong. <sighs> Ooh. Hell yeah. Uh, 
together and we shall overcome whoa what's hang on i cannot just do that can i yeah better be careful here better get all the way there without too much fuss let me approach this there we go i can send my minions over like that just let my minions handle that Never mind. Guess I wasn't close enough. What? Out oh, there. Halt! Death, one way or another. I see. Trespassers! Oh! Ooh, a level 4 one. I'll take it. Ooh, careful. Stop that! Of course. Scum! Okay, I like its position, not bad. Just had a... Oh, there we go, that's what I need. Nice. The realization that I forgot to loop the least, just in case it plays the last song. So it doesn't go to like a different video altogether. Oh, uh, sorry, GZ, I wasn't paying attention to chat. Uh, my day has been good so far. I haven't... Oh, hang on. Is someone there? I'm talking to somebody. Ah, uh, there's a guy there. In that corner. Return engagement ring. I understand. All right, so he was in... Okay, so it's like her husband or something. Like he was uh, or engaged or whatever. I guess she returned the, the ring for him in prison. <laughs> So yeah, my day has been very good so far. I mean, it hasn't been very long because I woke up, I got myself some coffee, and then after just doing very a little bit of maintenance, a little bit of maintenance in the in the channel, I just went to stream right away. So I wish I could have a, uh, a better answer than that, but that's literally how my day has been so far, and now I'm playing video games, so... Though, however, I do have some plans for today after the stream, 
So after finishing streaming, working out, blah blah blah, doing all of that stuff, uh, there, um, my boyfriend was gracious enough to provide me with some ideas he had for uh, new emotes for the channel, because now I can add a total of nine emotes. So on the four that I already have, I can add five more, as far as I understand. So I'm going to try and transform one of those drawings into the emote. At least one, and then like over a period of a few days, I add one emote, then another emote, then another emote, then another emote. You know, and um, if I make if I make one emote a day, then I'm gonna have those slots filled in five days. And uh, maybe by next week, we already have uh, uh, the new emotes set. Uh, no, I still have more stuff to do. Where am I going? So, back to it. Then maybe I could also use some of my time to prepare a little bit better for my D and D session this uh, Saturday and stuff. But anyway, that's not YouTube related. Yes. But that's how somewhat my uh, day would go. Just keep me alive. I'll do the rest. Reckon I'll have a night out with the lads after this one. Can't remember the last time I blacked out. Thieves! Die! No further! That's what I'm here for. Failure means death. Should stay out. Shouldn't be a problem. Oi, what's the hands? Surrender or die. Okay, never mind. You got him. No, I didn't. I got killed. I got murdered. <coughs> what do you need? Let's hope this one's a little easier. She doesn't have a... Okay, fair enough. I gotta go fast here. Make him suffer. Quit complaining, or you'll be emptying the piss buckets. Fight like you mean it. 
Okay. Yes. I just got an ad for basically the D and D app that you spent all this time making. <laughs> I bet. I mean, I made it as a side project for fun, not because I want profit. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and it's not a D and D app. It's just like a map maker, so it's generic. Not to mention, I don't want to have to deal with someone else's code, someone else's ideas, someone else's, like, uh, monetization or ads that may play during the thing. Or maybe go like, oh yeah, if you want to fully utilize our app, here's a paid version, here's this thing. I'll just make it myself, you know? <laughs> Because then I can add whatever I want. Oops, I can add whatever I want. I'm not limited to only one person's idea of what the app should look like. Still tired you out yesterday? Uh, if it were, uh, tired me out in terms of uh, making me tired today or making me like super sweaty and <laughs> worked out. It was bad as the first time. As bad? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I actually felt my blood pressure rise. What does that feel like? <laughs> Feels like um, it makes my my ears get stuffy and uh, it makes my ear get stuffy and uh, meaning that like you know I, I felt like they wanted to like like close up in terms of like making me not be able to hear anything and uh, I don't know it feels like my entire vision is like like hyper focused like I don't know how because I don't if you've ever been, like, even slightly drunk, that's how it feels. This... <clears throat> then, yeah, I don't know exactly how to tell you that. Because I, I, you would have to either have been drunk once, or even also, or even gently buzzed, or high. Then that would make a lot of sense. Are you going to be able to handle the high intensity? Yes, yes. To mention, uh, I'm gonna have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to rest. Assuming that we don't decide to maybe take one day rest and then do it on Saturday or something, you know. So it should be fine. Uh, no, I was comparing what I was feeling to, uh, during a workout we did yesterday. To... Because it raised my blood pressure a little bit. If a summoner uses only skeleton summons, could he be mistaken for a necromancer by people? Mistaken? Yes. You're still using the remains of other people, so you're still a necromancer. Is there no way to tell at a glance what class the player is? You mean uh, in Path of Exile? Yeah. No. <laughs> in, in town? No. You can make guesses. For example, this person is using a sword and a shield. 
they are probably necromancer that are playing a class called well, a class of necromancer that uses raging summon raging spirits, which are flaming skulls. The sword is a very particular sword that makes so that everything that is sorry that gives you the ability of having despair level twenty five by default. And he is making that summon raging spirits instead of having fire damage to have a poison damage. Uh, let's see if I can see anyone else. This guy has a shield and a dagger of some kind. What do you mean? Since they have a shield, they probably invested some of their things into defense as well, so they might be. Ah man, there's so many, there's so many, there's so many different abilities in Battle of Exile. It's kind of hard sometimes. Okay. Let's see. This guy has a bow. Yeah, a bow. That could mean they're doing tornado shot. Probably not because tornado shot got nerfed. Uh, lightning arrow could be a, could be a thing. And that lightning arrow seems to be very used right now. Well, I mean, if your if your current uh, your if your current shape is not working out for you, or maybe it's making your life a little difficult, then yeah, you, you should. It, it's gonna do you some good, I suppose. In any case, uh, it's going to get you maybe stronger, more uh, more uh, uh, more athletic in terms of health. Wait, what level is this? 73, yeah, bye. You definitely okay. be thanking yourself in 10 years. Yeah, exactly. Alright, let's do some of that strategy I said I was gonna do. I hate this map, though. Is there really nothing else? Like, le that's so terrible. I hate it. I hate it so, so much, I'm gonna... Meta now? The meta? Poisons. Fuck. I, 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 is it still poison? Or... <laughs> oh... I sincerely don't know, because... I sincerely don't know, because a lot changed. A lot got nerfed. Like, there was a lot of nerfs, there was a lot of... Uh, a lot of... Uh, buffs to minions, especially. So it's either minions, or a different bow build that uses the... almost, uh, like, the same approach you would for Tornado Shot, but with a different skill altogether due to the nerfs to tornado shot <laughs> but poison will always if you really truly invest in poison it will always be good I'm gonna do something that I know it's not super super good, but um, with the current strat I'm gonna use, it might be okay. Um, within like the next ten maps, I'm gonna have a basis, I guess, of what uh, of what's happening. So we're gonna go for a little bit of harbinger, strong boxes, and ritual. So let's go ritual right away. Ritual. We have uh, rolling favor, cost uh, two times ritual, alarm, real or favor on time. This one is terrible. This one is literally terrible. Why is it so bad? <laughs> More tribute, that could work. Increase favors. Okay. Yes. We have the meat. We just got an Arby's commercial. Nice. Yum yum. No, I, I, well, I don't know. I don't have Arby's here. I said yum yum because I know it's a food distribution company, right? Fast food or whatever. Yeah. But I, I don't know. They're not bad. It's just I would always prefer a hamburger over a beef sandwich. Fair. All right, let's do this. There we go. This is going to be my setup. Map and these three things for now. 
Okay, let's find out what happens now. Sure, estuary, these, and... Oh, right. Okay, so hang on. I'm doing tier 14. I could have... I could have went over here now. Uh, yeah, that one. Drop Elder, Guardian Shape, and then this one for Synthesis Maps. Synthesis Maps are so good. I should have went there. I should have went there. Ah, oh, man, okay. I, but I can't change anything here now. I suppose I can stop going here, right? I can refund all of this. Refund all of that. Refund this, because I'm using this for fun. One, two, three, four. No. Too much. Uh, one, two, three, four. Here. And go all the way up. Yeah, go all the way up. And then, if I have any left. Ooh, yes, this. And then maybe that. Maybe. Maybe. I could. I could. Probably should. Let's play this first. Let's follow my script a little bit now. Oh my god. Really? Really? That's crazy. That's insane stuff. I... I okay, so... I decided to invest into some necropolis stuff right here. I think it's this. Yeah, increase the effects of the voted modifiers in your maps. I put this in here. And now, the devotion stuff, like 1,680 increased rarity drops, 7%. Look at all this stuff. That is crazy stuff right here. Oh, now it makes kind of, it kind of makes sense now to... Oh, wow. Oh, and this gives the all flames. Oh, I see. Oh man, okay. I can. I should probably give more stuff now. Hang on, splinters. Soul fight, no. Rogue exiles, no. Anything cool? Yes. That on you. Let's find out. Let's find out what happens. Okay. Maybe the maybe that's the maybe that's my strat now to go for those as well. But I can never get everything. I have to choose between one or the other, of course. But man. Okay, anyway, let's go. As I said, let's do ten maps like this for now and see what happens. Why are old people not different from other people? I don't know. Maybe choice. Maybe their choice in uh, in uh, the older and their stuff, or just soap in general. Or maybe it's something about the older generation in specific, right? Like the boomer smell. This is so laggy. I don't even know what's happening right now. The stream must be like all blurry too, because of the whole stuff it's happening. Not blurry. It's just that there's like frame skipping, but yeah, fair enough. I, I can still see it pretty good. What is this? Yeah, take that. Oh, right. Here we go. Let's do this first. I'm curious to what's gonna happen now. Since I invested so heavily in uh, uh, ritual. Well, that was very minuscule. Oh, there you are. Storage room, chest full of items. Up. Yes, up and whatever. Oh, this ma it's this time. particular one is ready. I can s maybe try and sell it for like a divine. Depending on the price of the divine, of course. Otherwise, I would like two Divines or more. When I'm ready, 
Ooh, cursed treasure. What's that? Click it. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I didn't know. That was nothing? What is the cursed treasure? What did I click on that for, then? What happened? I did not really see you on me. Like every so often, Bing changes the homepage picture. Oh. Um, uh, I tried to look it up, but... Treasure hunt? An atlas passive skill. Passive spawns one or more cursed treasure objects in your incursions. Clicking on the cursed treasure will reduce your time by 8 seconds, but also add random items such as currency and scarabs upon completing the incursion. Uh, okay, so I need to do that. I need to do that, like, super late, then. It needs to be, like, the last thing that I do on my incursion, then. Okay, this one was better. Uh, let's take a little peek inside. Okay, nothing interesting right now, but there's something here that might be good. Let's see. Ah. I thought you said like picking like the Chinese food. <laughs> no. You're ordering a side of picking duck. <laughs> is that tasty? Oh, what is that? I've never had oh. that. So I don't know. Well, all right, that finally happened. It happened much sooner in the other in the previous league for me. So I dropped a I dropped a six link, like right away. Oh yay! I think. I know it's it's a yay, but I mean I'm I'm not gonna use it with this character, but it is a yay. Money. Hopefully. Hopefully, it will be a lot of money. I wonder if that song is copyrighted. Oh, uh, I would be shocked if it wasn't. It is Disney's, after all. Disney? Isn't it? Really? Do they own Tom and Jerry? I don't think so. I'm Tom, and, Tom and Jerry? Is that from Tom and Jerry? Somebody... Yes. Isn't that that one guy that says something about money in the uh, Corpse Bride? No. Oh, that guy. Okay, I get it. I remember now. Okay, yeah, they're owned by Warner Brothers, so they're not Disney. Yeah, but I'll be shocked if it's not copyrighted. Yeah. Val Gem, twenty percent quality. No thanks. Roll. I mean Homemade cooking too. But... Uh huh. Terrible. All terrible. I d I dislike all these. Roll again. 
Level 1 summon skeletons 23% quality. Maybe. Maybe. 5 out of 6. That's nice. Energy shields. This tier 1? Yeah, it's tier 1. But it's a necromancer cichlid, which is terrible. Tier 1 higher, though. Sorry, what? Is tier 1, like, better than tier 2 or worse? Tier 1 is the best. It's high, it's okay. top. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is doing well here. I like that. I'm getting a lot of those. Uh, monsters drop the Nessuses. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, man. Do I want to do this? I don't think I do. Why not? Mm, it takes, takes time. I don't... All I'm going to get is like an offering to the goddess that I'm not even going to use, probably. Up and whatever. All right, curse the treasures. Gotta remember to do it properly. taken much advantage of these um, cursed tr tr uh, treasures yet. I'm kind of surprised there's anything you aren't familiar with in this. Uh, there is many mechanics that have been added later retroactively and stuff, so... They have been added at, uh, at a different time, so... There are certain things I haven't I haven't really had the either time or power, character power, to experience. Oh, we had uh, essence modifiers. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's still one uh, ritual I haven't done somewhere. Probably there, maybe? Oh, yeah! Darks, yeah, sure. Increase monster pack size, why not? Go up and up. Let's go. I know what's missing in here. Welcome back. I know what's missing in here. To make this worth my time. To use the, the trove properly, I need the, the other incursion thing that makes me get more time per kill. Otherwise, this doesn't work very well. There, best. Good job. Okay. You've let your lot all turn that. Nah, that is kind of weird. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking that. Hmm. I 
think my next two movie picks are going to be that Tom and Jerry one and Hercules. Hmm. So you better be thinking of something. Okay. I mean, there's some movies that I've been meaning to watch for a long time now. For example, I want to watch Godzilla Minus One, but I don't think Kazumi and we and Kazumi watched uh, the other Godzilla yet. Oh no, we did, we did. Now we can watch Godzilla Minus One. Okay, Godzilla Minus One is my pick. need to find my Uno deck. Hmm. Okay, there's literally nothing in here that I want. I don't know, just not to leave anything behind, I'm going to pick uh, Three Faces in the Dark. There we go. Good-ish. Good Good enough, I guess. Not exactly what I would call a Too much reward, but yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so all that stuff can stay, but I don't really know what that other thing's doing, like... Like... Because I don't know what they mean by valuable rewards, I haven't got anything. Like... I'll see. Like, I... Awesome. Okay. It's like, I I've opened three of those. And I still don't know what is this reward that they're speaking of. They add random items such as currency and scarabs to upon completing the incursion. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, wink, wink. Right, yeah. Okay. Right. Nothing dropped yet. Literally nothing. Not a single scarab. Not a single scarab, not a single currency, not a single anything. Hello. So, right, I'm gonna finish the entirety of my thing here right i'm gonna get alva done and then we'll see what happens okay uh maybe i can sell this uh, i mean it's just a basic as armor but maybe you can sell 10 chaos okay 10 chaos is 10 chaos we take it tier one with attribute reduce okay yeah nobody on it nah, nobody knows okay just sell that shit to the NPC. oh yeah it is very much a chill day and i would love to keep it that way Oh, hello. Really? Wow. Really? Really? So fix a fix, prefix. Okay, there's a prefix missing. So put life in the prefix? I don't know. Huh. I, I'll keep it. But that's a very odd, very odd ring. I guess, uh, well, depends. I don't know. I'll try to sell it, but I don't know if anyone is going to buy it. I'll, I'll put like a very chill price, maybe 50 chaos, because in comparison, this might be like the cheapest one. Okay, this thing, I don't know. And chaos, right? Yeah. Sure. Okay, we got some replacements. That's nice. 
All right, let's go another one. Um, but well, okay, and okay, I have the, that Harbinger thing, and what else? I'm gonna be honest. I, I am not using that other thing, so I'm gonna take it off right now. That's hey, so correct. We have one. Yeah, buy that. Refund this. There we go. That's better. I think. Okay. Uh, drop an instilling orb. That's absolutely terrible and, and bad. All of these are absolutely terrible and bad. Sure. Not to mention, I got no corpses of any kind on that one map, so... And you want corpses? Yes. I need more mana. You call them corpses, despite the fact they're obvious. They're obviously grilled. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a regional dialect uh, from up uh, from up the Acropolis. Oh, here we go. Haunted by this guy. Got one. When I'm ready and not before. Why, I have long hair as well, Jay-Z? Hmm, right. The absolute leg I just got right now. That's some that's some nice Photoshop presentation we're having here. Yeah, that is a nice Photoshop presentation we're having. There we go. There was a there was a harbinger boss in the middle there, so it just I just needed to wait for it to die, and there we go, legs gone. <laughs> Ooh, is this the armor stacking thing? This is not the armor stacking thing. Eh, never mind then. Hmm. 
Right, very skilled. I need more mana. Chance for demon corpses to not be consumed when exercising up to 50%. I have no idea. Can I search for these? I can, and people don't care about these, apparently. Okay, boss time, but there's still more stuff to do in the map. Hollow's mask, sure. Now we have this thing to do. I think it's going to be a little hard because I'm gonna be taking double damage here, so gotta be very careful where I stand. Oh yeah, there's the damage right there. Oh my god. Let me move along with this because I'm tired of taking that damage. There's some really expensive stuff in here, so maybe it's going to be a good one. Never mind, it's all garbage. Have I done this one? Oh, there we go. There's one thing that I can get, I suppose. Omen of Death Dancing. Terrible. Oh, awful. Garbage. Alright, there's one thing in here that is usable. Get my orphan to goddess, get that, I suppose. I don't have space. There we go.
much clatter. Um. I need to go back and store some stuff. I've been having to throw stuff on the floor to like pick and choose the stuff that I actually want. Hello. Keep your life to your own. As soon as I'm done with this, I need a small little break. Go get some um, some coffee if there is any left, and uh, just I don't know, a snack on something, anything, just to just just have some form of breakfast, I guess. There is a unique strong box. And Tempest boots. Okay, we take that. And stealing orbs again. And is that enough? Yeah, seven monsters in the map. Nice. Okay, I will be right back. <laughs>
I think we're all doing good. It's been nice. You've just been... We've been getting to spend a lot of time with friends lately, and... We've been working out every day, and... Eating good. I can't complain. <laughs> You really think he's not gonna see? To be honest, no, but actually today it's finally a little cooler, so... <laughs> well, you see, it's that perfect weather. You could go start your fitness journey. But every little bit helps. Like, you could literally just start with the... I don't know, like, walking for 15 minutes one day. And then you just keep doing that every day, and then you start walking a little longer, and... It all depends on your height, and your bone mass, and your muscle mass, and your sex, and all that kind of stuff, but... <laughs> I mean, for that height, I don't think you really sound like you need to lose any weight. <laughs> The 
if you get your muscles just toned up, then you'll definitely be thinking yourself once you get older. You can't be that lazy, then. Okay, I'm back. Hello, I'm back. Thank you. Uh, you are 140 pounds. Probably might drop down to 130, 5'11. Oh, okay, but you're tall. Yeah. You're tall and skinny. I think. Not very good with pounds and feet. For an average American, that's like a normal, actually healthy weight to be at. Hmm. Hello. Okay, so your problem is that your weight's good, but your... Oh, you mean notice the big, uh, the big bulging message on my chat that says that you gifted a membership to somebody? No, I noticed that. It's literally impossible for me to not, not notice that. It's like really, really big. I was just staying quiet just to see if you would mention anything. <laughs> he thought if he spammed the chat, you wouldn't see it. Oh, don't worry. I have uh, at least, um, at least uh, a fifth of my screen real state dedicated to the chat box so um, i can see thank you by the way my only con my only concern my only concern about those gift subs that you give it's not it's the, i mean you do whatever you want i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not uh, a financial advisor you know so long as you're doing okay, I keep doing it. I guess. I mean, it's 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 my game, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you, except like you know, don't ever ever trade your own food just to like gift me three dollars, right? Yeah. Then yeah, you do. Then you do whatever you want. Uh, uh, I'll do this one. Game physical and extra cold. No thanks. Monster ex Ooh, experience. Yes. We do that. That's pretty good. But in fact, do I have a pack of rats to put on, on that instead? Harmless frogs, I mean. There we go. Harmless frogs. Harmless frogs work. Do it. Wolfie. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. You yeah. never fixed it. You're right. You're right. There we go. You're right. I need more mana.
Yeah, it's gonna take too long to do that. a lot of damage. When I'm ready and not before. I don't want to say anything because I might jinx it, but if I continue doing this well, I might actually get another level. Hail. But I've been here before, so who knows what might happen. Well, let's hope I didn't. Serious danger, I see. Ready when you are. Oh, hello. Four. Nice. Still have 34 skeletons and 10 phantasms? Yes. Okay, nice. It was easier than I thought it was gonna be.
Okay, my maximum is 40 skeletons. Alright. So I have just about 50 minions on, on the screen right now. No, more, actually. About... About 60 minions on screen right now. Tax money. When I'm ready, and what, does, what does tax money even entail? Ooh, ooh. Okay, don't touch this. Do not touch this. Leave it. Because that's free money. Ooh. I'm glad I remembered. He's referring to an income tax return. Oh. Well, I mean, to any older subscriber. So long as you are taking care of yourself first, you do whatever you want. If you wanna, if you wanna donate, if you wanna get a three dollar membership, go for it. So long as you don't, so long as you're not trading your own, so long as you're not taking food out of your mouth to put three dollars in mine, that's fine. Uh, oh, right, right, right. I remember I forgot that. Uh, I remember it got that particular effect on purpose. And I am, I'm, every single time, I'm still surprised. Ooh, no, that's still needs one more level. Alright, there we go. See, not dying makes good things happen. Finally, the... I'm getting the some gems. That I placed down to level a long time ago. To level.
Hello. Okay, there's only one thing that is slightly, gently bothering me right now about this atlas tree. Honestly, I don't dislike this. It's good. But it's not... I don't think it's doing me any favors. I would... Pure Fighter, Sword and Shield, and no Dragonborn. So you're, what you're telling me is, you're thinking about playing Morrowind. That's what you're saying, that's what you're telling me. Or Oblivion, yeah. Or Oblivion. Okay, so hang on, I took- oh yeah, I took that from there, put it in here. What if- well, if I have enough, because this league, apparently, I got almost nothing trick? of the things that I was after. Oh, he just let me buy a bunch? Okay, perfect. I wanted that anyways. There we go. Refund this ritual thing. And if possible... How would that be? Here? No. Here? Yeah, but look how uh, it's a lot. It's a big travel. It's a big travel. Eh, honestly, this one is kind of one's kind of mid to take that off. Then we go one, two, three, four, five. Nice. And we have one point left. Go into scarabs. Alright. Okay. That might be better. Might be better. So what you're saying is you even did that one quest to find all of the those hidden gems or whatever they're called. I did it. I'm okay, I'm gonna try and sell this. Four. Well, depends. That depends. How much is the divine right now? 142. Eh. Fine. Exact price. One div. Well, but yeah, I know you don't, but if you're telling me you did everything, I would be expecting you to have done everything. Right, literally get like a, a guide of everything you need to do in Skyrim to have done everything and then just do everything. Do like literally a checklist.
what were what uh what um role would you play um you could try you could try and play well, not only just not something they've never done before, maybe... How about you... <clears throat> play the role as a healer? Maybe even get a mod that allows you to... Contract multiple... Allies at the same time? And you just play a healer. Nothing else. You have wards, and you have healing, and you make... And you have buffs, but that's it. Good luck. Good luck and Godspeed. I'm gonna uh, start doing some crazy stuff after I get some money. I think I'm going to try, instead of selling these, I'm gonna make them and then I'm gonna use them for myself and see if I can get some interesting things. Only if I get the, only if I get the, the gem corruption one. Okay, um, meat shield, no, specter, there we go, Fre feeding frenzy support, now, this is value, really, 10, hmm, kinda sucks, and, ah, I did a dumb thing with this one, didn't I? Okay, so Fitting Frenzy doesn't Did seem to be very to popular, but we sell it anyways. Maybe somebody wants it. Ten. Okay, now... What else could I put it in now? I suppose Elemental Army or Minion Life. Those, All of those would pay. Let's do minion Lord life. Hmm. Uh, I only play as fighters, no magic. Magic is for elves. Good old steel is for men. Well, then you shouldn't have asked. That's true. Um, I don't know. If you wanna... <clears throat> there aren't that many builds you can do that use steel only. Would you like shield and sword? Two-handed sword? Or a variant of a two-handed sword? A hammer or axe? There we go. That's your options. <clears throat> oh, increase quantity. Really? Quantity? Quantity? Alright, we can we can play with quantity. Well, but an old, uh, like an old stealth archer, does not use steel. It uses leather and a bow. So, <clears throat> you know. And then, if that's the case, then stealth is for Khajiit, not men. Yeah. 
Okay, they draw the quantity. What can I get that could be interesting? Catalysts, maybe? Omens, scarabs? Oh, scarabs, maybe. This is quantity. Males are like different race now? What do you mean? I You said the word men, not me. What are you talking about? <laughs> you said men as in the human race for man. If magic is for elves and steel is for man, stealth is for Khajiit. Like, <laughs> but pay attention, bro. Like, we we're having a conversation about Skyrim and classes and who gets to do what. <laughs> when I'm ready and not before. Gem modifiers are scarce. Gem? Gem modif- What is a gem modifier? Modifiers, they're 100% What is a gem modifier? Calm down. I don't have to calm down. Fucking grinding gear games, adding some random ass shit under bullshit. No more deals. Just good. A modifier applies statistics above or grants a skill to entities. Let's kill oh! Now they have that now? Really? Even better with a oh. Than with words. Okay. A modifier should be seen as an instance of change applied to the entity. A basic modifier does a nothing on its own, given the effect much. by the associated like stats and their values. If you think I'm going to a bad apple spoils the bunch. Put bluntly, one mo- Wait, what about- It's you? possible that some Killing effects granted by the modifier no are not visible to the players since not all statistics so have visible text. But if word of our deal makes it- Don't worry, baby. I, uh, once you- s The very first thing you said already explained it to me. I just didn't really understand what they mean up until then. But now I do. The very first line of text about modifiers that grants modifiers to, like, stuff. Yeah, I, I got it. Okay, uh, storage. Vault, tunnels, generator, banquet hall. Here we go, gem cutter. I need this. I need this. As much of it as I can get. Uh, chest full of items. No, go. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Go up and then any, I guess. It's time. Up and any. No! Don't kill me! No! Did I miss anything? Hmm. 
Ooh. Oh, my golems are dead. Oh, so that maybe that's how it happens. Okay, I got a blueprint. Okay, so I think I finally got something out of the... Out of the... Whatever that thing they read to me a long time ago. The uh, cursed treasures. With another rival dead. Oh, is that maxed out? Oh, nice. Okay, Vault, here we go. Additional, no. We're gonna go for currency for this one. Up and up. Oh, what you cooking? Chorizo and eggs and a burrito. Chorizo, eggs, and a burrito? Man, what the hell? Oh, those are the contents of the burritos. Oh, right. I was like, man. We're talking about getting in shape, and motherfuckers are already bulking. <laughs> gonna get that Sam Sulek, gonna get that Sam Sulek uh, workout routine, you know? I'm ready, and not before. Was a bit mid. Oh, okay. Tier three and tier three are ready all at the same time. That's awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. Exciting is what the the effects of the Atlas passives do to your mechanic, Alva. That's what's exciting. Like, I, I, I'm guessing that this entire league, I'm gonna make all my money on just doing uh, Alva, apparently. Not even my favorite mechanic has been paying that, that well, as Alva did. Abnormal diversity is magistrate haunted uh, completed. Ah, there you are. Tunnels can Ready become. Ooh! Cross? Oh! Corruption chamber. Kill, yeah. Straight up, let's go. And the up and down. Yeah. Time to go. I wonder if they're gonna be soft tacos or crunchy tacos. Yeah, what's a what's a what's a poison, Jay-Z? Crunchy or soft? Maybe I should add the word tacos after saying that. Well, I mean, I know, but uh, you, you sh should you? Yeah, should you have uh, uh, uh yeah. One, for one, what are you making? And two, uh, sh should you have a favorite child? Would your favorite child be crunchy or soft? Good job. That's pretty much what we're asking. Takaba did love his gladiator. So, 
you are also making both. You're making... Wait, no, I got the wrong one. No, oh, whatever. Okay, you're making both crunchy and soft tacos at the same time. All right, got it. Oh, oh, you're making... Okay, there we go. You're making soft tacos. There it is. It wasn't so hard now, was it? I hate these. All... So bad. Chance to when you pay a skill cost to gain that much mana. Ooh, this might be a good one. Reduce. Oh, but reduce. Uh. Yeah, the reduce might be bad. Feeling lucky? Not really, but I suppose I could get that. No, let me get that. <clears throat> you don't have favorites. Are you trying to imply here, right now, that you don't have a bias towards tacos? Hmm, I don't think I believe you. You mean to tell me that you're, you, you, you don't you don't have like a taco you hold above every other taco, so like no elitism of any kind. I apologize for the slideshow. There are three. There are three harbingers in the same spot and a boss. So it's going to take a little bit. Can't see anything. I love bean and cheese tacos. Oh, there we go. There's gotta be one particular something that you would take above the others, should that option exist. But, and you also, at the same time, could just be in the size, of course. You know, it's the duality of men. Soft cheese and... Bean taco or crunchy, I don't know, chicken and salad taco. Then quench thy hunger, child of God. Greetings.
Um, who is it? You, Yun. Hello. There we go. Yun. Didn't know. <laughs> I didn't mean to sell you that pair of gloves. Ah, whatever. Now, now I don't care. Be careful. There's a ring. Okay, there it goes. Not, not all is lost. Who did you need those gloves? Um, not need, but you, 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 do you see like those little Minecraft enchanting table that is in the description of the item there? It's like even glowy in white. No, but what, what about it? That, it means there is a hidden modifier in there. Those hidden modifiers, they are hidden forever or until I find a glove that has a hidden modifier and then I reveal it. Once I reveal it, now I know that modifier exists and I can craft that modifier into items. So fi finding items that need revealing are good for me. Good for crafting. And the gloves had one of those. And I haven't... Not even close to revealing all of them yet. So every little one of them counts. I I like mushrooms, but I like mushrooms more in Stroganoff. Four nights. I don't think I've ever had mushrooms alone. But even pickled mushrooms, I don't think they disgust me by eating them. But it's not something that I would eat, that I would eat handfuls of, right? It's maybe something that like, oh, someone is preparing, someone's preparing um, stroganoff. Oh, there is like pickled mushrooms they're gonna put it in there, and I, maybe I stick my, I, I make a pinch, uh, a, a pinch with my my fingers, and I pick one from the jar and I munch on that, and but that's it. As as far as I will go. Really? Well, they are a thing. I like them in spaghetti and on pizza. I don't think I've ever had them in pizza before. But it has uh, probably has more to do with like Brazilian pizza than anything else. Yeah, but they were pretty common in America. Mhm. Mm I remember we had a conversation about that, about texture and stuff. Yes, bro is a member. That's true. Hello, Gamer Shredder. Welcome. Oh, hey, Shredder. Where have you been? That's true. Where have you been? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what a nerd. Oh my god. Eh, bet you've been getting some good grades too, huh, nerd? Eh, been studying hard, getting somewhere in life? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> you hard-working student. to join the other corpses exile so i don't know i thought like they, they just moved on to online school ever since covid and stuff not exclusively in the <gasps> dirt worm 
Well, I didn't expect to just get one tap like that out of nowhere. You're never going to college, so what's your plan? I'm gonna make like one of those specialization, specialization courses and just like get into a particular field right away. The Parandas family is not quite the gold mine. Securing Kalgurin. Oh, yes, please. I'm going to kill you, Giannis. Just not yet. Exile? Just work. Exile? Right. Well, I mean, it shouldn't really be if you if you don't have anything extra to do in your evenings. Not not only evenings, like afternoon and in the evening. Because YouTube is largely the, like, oh, I'm going to sit at my desk and I'm going to play a video game for the next six hours. You could be recording, you know, you could be recording, maybe do a light editing just to remove the empty space where you don't say anything and you post it. Maybe, maybe that works out for you, you know. I need more mana. A private citadel. Inescapable. A private citadel. <laughs> Gravity. Early. Man, this boss is taking so long to die. Oh, he has he has a bunch of modifiers of okay, that makes sense. Uh essence modifiers. Off camera. Well, if it was off camera, did it even happen? You know? Did it even occur whatsoever? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think the only challenges that i've made along uh, as of late was that one dark souls challenge and ooh hello and i've done that one um that one challenge for inscription and then i also finished a mod for inscription called the grimora's mod in one sitting that has been all the difficult stuff I've done as of late. Now, the most difficult thing that I've never done in my life was getting a character to level 100 in Path of Exile. So that might might be the next thing, I guess. But I, I already attempted the previous league. I just couldn't. Hello. Farewell. I don't think you can get timed for spamming. Not on my chat, at least. I don't think. Not to mention, you don't have you don't have to list them top down. You can list them by adding a comma at the end of every word. So you just sent a block of text instead.
here we go. How lucky am I today? I wonder. Okay, I'm gonna spend fusings until I spend 100. How lucky am I? A little more, a little more. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. 150, maybe? Nope, alright. Never mind. You go to the big stash and you're gonna rot in there. Nah, 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 nah. Not, not even. Okay. Let me tell you. The chances of me using this particular thing here, the Arbor Fusing, the chances of me... Thank you for the gifted. The chances of me using an Arbor Fusing into this item and getting all six sockets to link with each other is one, one in 1,500. Exactly. I wasn't breast. I wasn't breast. I wasn't blessed with Dreamy Luck. Not at all. Basically, the ultimate custom night of Five Nights. Oh, right. Uh, Sonic Maniac. Huh. So, is that another one of those attempts at getting a dot .exe experience, but in Sonic? Sonic is what started the Dottie XC experience. Wow, was it? Yeah, Sonic Teddy XC. That was the creepy pasta. Oh, okay. I thought it came with something else. I don't know, maybe like a um, Mario Dottie XC or something, because because Mario, right? Like the the poster child of uh, video games for '90s kids, and then in comes Sonic, and then everyone else. I have always been, I have always been, like, the horror type of uh, enjoyer, like, always, but I don't think, I don't think I've ever found any of those, like, scary, scary. But now I'm trying to think if there has ever been one that was like, wow, dude, that left me chills, or something like that. Let me see, is there one that after reading or getting to know more about it, I got maybe... Yes. Yes. There was one. I don't know exactly what it was. The, the, it was a very short creepypasta. A very short one. You could even call it like one of those very few word short stories. Right? Maybe it, maybe it was like three lines. Not, not three lines. Maybe like it was like six lines of text. So very short. It was just a creepy concept idea. That's all it was. But for some reason, after after I read, after I finished reading it, I felt all the hairs on my back stand up. No, not two sentences. I thought it was, but it wasn't. It's a little more than that. But it was a very, very short story. I don't remember the words exactly. But what I do, but I do remember the feeling. I remember the feeling of having all the hairs in my back stand up, all of them, all six. You know what I'm saying is like no, the peach, the peach fur that we all have uh, on our bodies. So all of that, like just yeah, like a cat. That has been threat that has been threatened. No, well, Shrek to EXZ is not exactly scary, right? Cause you know, Shrek is love. And Shrek is life. So It's more like a it's more like a dream sequence than a, a nightmare sequence.
Russian apocalypse horror stories. Okay. Ah, there you are. Ready to Seller, can give me fire or the more heals. You kill, the more you change my map. And the closer we get to finding mm, the temple down in the present day. Down and uh, Here's whatever. the plan. Time to go. Before I go down, I must go up. I think a a cool creepy pasta of saw as well. And by cool, I mean the concept, right? The concept that was written. Good job, Exile. It was something like, um, well, I mean, there is no way that I cannot give spoilers by giving you the description because the description would be like the oh, either I read that or I didn't. But it was like um, chamber, this guy. He died, and he went to heaven. But then, after getting to heaven, he discovered that heaven wasn't really what religion was describing, like any religion was describing, right? You had your Christian mythos and stuff, right? Like, you know, angels and archangels and blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, apparently, the angels themselves are afraid of God, and they have been... The, the angels have been enslaving the souls that reach heaven to, tr uh, to forever make chains to hold God in place. Because if God would get released from those chains, he would just destroy everything. That was cool. It's like a, it's like a six-page read, however. But uh, I, I thought it was pretty cool. It was very detailed. It was like somebody actually put time into actually writing something somewhat decent. Um, get enough recognition for changing the indie horror landscape for gaming back then. It was mostly the Amnesia games, a bunch of Slenderman clones, and PT. Yeah. Well, but here's the thing. The thing about FNAF, it's not that it did anything impressive. It's, it's what it accomplished with something so simple. Right? It's something... It was a really simple concept, but a very effective, very effective one. So, the recognition here, in my opinion, is not really it reinventing the wheel or anything. It's just using the wheel that was already available and making something unique for itself. And quite in fact, if I don't see any more FNAF games at all, when I'm ready, I would actually be four. very happy. Like, you know, I, I, because I truly think that every piece of media should have uh, its resting period, right? Because it's, it, have, it has already been milked, right? It has already been milked. Anything that would come out of that out of that now would just end up getting very stale very fast. I'm a very I'm a believer that everything needs to 
have a beginning, a middle, and an, and an end at some point. And the end of that thing doesn't mean gone forever. It means that maybe something new and more exciting can come out of it, right? You open the door for new experiences because something ended. You know, a door closes, a window opens, some bullshit like that, whatever. For example, there is a series of movies that I probably watched. Too much clutter. I didn't watch the whole series more than once because that's my point. There is this movie called The Return of the Living Dead. I probably watched the first movie, Hello. the second movie about 20 times. Or give it or take. Probably take. I don't think I watched it that much. But I watched the third movie maybe three times. And I watched the fourth, the fifth and I don't even know if there's a sixth, I hope not, about once. Because that was the problem. The series, the, the movies, the first one and the second one are all-time classics. Period. In terms of zombie culture, pop culture of zombies, they defined what we know of zombies today. You know who invented zombies saying, Brains. Or wanting to eat brains? The Return of the Living Dead. They did that. Right? And they only spawned because George A. Romero had a... They, he separated from his friend because him and his friend invented Night of the Living Dead, etc. But his friend had other ideas. Right? And George A. Romero didn't really like his friend's ideas that much. He had a vision and his friend had another. So they separated. On that separation, um, his friend got the, 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 the wording that he could use for movies, all um, uh, Living Dead, and the, A. Romero got stuff like, you know, Night of the Living Dead, stuff like that, or Night of the Dead, or something like that, right? They separated, and each one like got a piece of the of the of their uh, undead cake. And then what happens is both got super popular on their own merits, but they had very different types of movies. And the thing is, the first one, Night, uh, the Return of the Living Dead, in my opinion, excellent. The second one, doubly so. They doubled down on what they did in the in the first one and they made it even better in my opinion the third movie they started to experiment where the the whole genre could go they started to experiment with their own story it's still cool it's still good but it broke their own formula down a little into a direction that contradicts the previous two movies but it wasn't terrible. And then the fourth movie, in my opinion, was quite possibly one of the greatest pieces of shit I ever had the displeasure of putting in front of my eyes. It was... So, because there was a period of silence, right? Night of the Living... Uh, Re the Return of the Living Dead, 1982. The Return of the... Uh... The Return of the Living Dead Part 2, 1984, pretty good. Then there was a period of silence. 1980, uh, 1993, there was The Return of the Living Dead Part 3. And then there was an even larger period of silence, all the way to 2006, I think. And then they made the Part 4, I believe. And the Part 4... So, you know how 80s movies have a particular style to them, right? You know, that 80s, either punk rock culture, or maybe like 80s getting away from the disco genre, stuff like that, you know? 
and uh, everything was like super cheap to do, right? You could hire a bunch of extras for your movie. You could hire like a hundred people for like a an okay amount of money for that time. Do their makeup, make them look like undead and stuff, right? What what they did on part four, they moved away from having people do it and they took the worst thing possible. They made their zombies CGI. Not good CGI, bad PlayStation 2 CGI. And then the movie itself didn't even look like that Hollywood production. It looked like somebody had the copyright for the Return of the Living Dead sitting in a basement somewhere. They found it and they were like, "Oh wow, yeah, I gotta make a movie so I don't lose the so I don't lose the copyright of my title." And then they called their neighbors and their buddies, their drinking buddies, and they they were like, "All right, so we need to make a movie. We have a five do five thousand dollars budget." Oh, your son. Uh, no 3D modeling? Alright, we're employing him too. Uh, he can do it for free, right? Alright, cool. And then they made that movie. That's how I felt. Everything about it was bad enough that I could... I had to force myself to finish, just to, just to see where it was gonna go. Ah, there you are. Ready to revisit the past? <laughs> The more you kill, the more you change my mind. I hate both of these, so go up and left, I guess. The temple. Time to go. And that was pretty much what marked the death of a franchise that I would love to see a return today. I would love to see Return of the Living Dead return again, but he won't. It just simply won't. Not because zombie movies... Well, zombie movies got stale a while ago. Because everything was a zombie movie. Did, did you know that Maze Runner is a zombie movie as well? The first movie is about a bunch of people that got trapped inside of a mysterious-ass maze. Nobody knows what's happening, right? Nobody knows what's happening. And then there's these creatures that prevent them from leaving. The maze keeps changing every day. Like, the super cool concept. And then the second movie was like, yeah, Good but job. there's zombies outside the maze. It's like, oh, come on, fuck off. And then, you know, everything was something related to zombies in the, like... Not my first choice to let from 2007 up until 2013-ish, it was like zombie, 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 you know? It was like... It, 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 the same thing that happened to superhero movies right now happened to zombies um, about, like, I don't know, 10 years ago. And uh, I would love to see that movie return, but I would love to see that movie return, but in the same fashion. I don't care what they have to do. Just grab a cast of uh, somewhat decent actors, or better yet, cast a bunch of nobodies, just like they did in the 80s. Just cast a bunch of nobodies, just like they did in the 80s. Right? Then they get like a some really good makeup artists and costume designers and make a an 80s vibe movie just like they did the originals and they make like a classic style return of the living dead with the 80s vibe again i don't oh, i don't just make a, a a good story double down in the, the comedy of the movie because those movies were and funny as fuck get to finding the temple in the present day Time to go. And it might not be something that will break the like it will break the internet, right? But it will definitely be a breath of fresh air, in my opinion. From not only just the zombie genre, but in from from movies in general. 
Because there's so much garbage. Even the horror genre got super fucking stale with all of the conjuring and whatever, Annabelle. The first time around, very cool. Thanks. Like, awesome movie. Interesting concept and all. All right, cool. But after they turned it into a franchise of movies, it got kind of... Yeah, we, we already... Seeing this movie so many times, so this is pretty much the same movie that we un already understand how you make jump scares. You know, we literally already know where you're gonna put your jump scares in your new movie. Hello. Go with courage. Like, literally the best thing I've seen as of recently is just, like, in terms of, like, a horror movie or somewhat of a horror movie has been Godzilla Minus One. Okay, Godzilla Minus One and The Autopsy of Jane Doe. But The Autopsy of Jane Doe is from 2015, so it doesn't count. Uh, but yeah, Godzilla Minus One, I, I, it was super cool. It was like, made by the original creators in Japan, a fully Japanese movie. CGI was really great, in my opinion, especially for a movie that had just a, what, $10 million budget? And they did all of that with that, so it's great. No big famous actors distracting you from the movie or trying to steal the, the show because they are the protagonists, right? Just a good old-fashioned monster rampaging movie with humans in the way and then the humans bending together as a group to try and solve their horrible situation. It's awesome. It's, it's literally an, an, odd, an ode to humanity and how we persevere against the, the most awful of odds. D&D False Hydra Horror Movie? Can I change this? Yeah, there we go. I forgot what- I forgot what's a False Hydra, hang on. D&D False Hydra, what's that? Show me a picture first. Ah, right, a False Hydra. This thing. Uh. Wow, it's creepy. Very creepy. What's the stat block for this shit? Just show me the stat block. Armor class, okay. Yeah, condition, dark vision, because yeah, it's 5v, of course it has dark vision. Burrow, ooh. Immune to blind, charm, deaf, and okay, sure. Understands the languages of its victims. Oh. Oh, then mimicry. You can do mimicry. It lures. That's so cool. Okay. Blind song. All hostile creatures that can hear the Hydra sing must make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Made a sale. Oh, yes, of course. Come in. Necropolis mechanic. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, um, hang on. False Hydra, let's go. A DC saving throw at the start of their turn, or if the Hydra uh, sings with more than one head, all hostile creatures must subtract 1d4 from their saving throw. Ooh, on a failure, the creature for forgets the Hydra is there. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, actions, multi-attack, fair enough. Bite, claws... Bonus action, 
they can sing and they can regrow the hydra can use bonus action to begin regrowing a head that has died it takes these regrowth bonus action to fully regrow the head it regains 20 hit points each time it loses regrowth reactions multi-react oh Okay, Whale. After taking damage, the Hydra can use a reaction to Whale. It's only 5 feet of the Hydra. When it Whales, take 2d4 psychic damage. Wow. And then there's a little, like, using the False Hydras as a DM. Blah, blah, blah. Sure. Fighting the False Hydra. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. But this is like a... This is like a... Challenge 10 creature, at least, isn't it? Is it, it gotta be a challenge 10. Bare minimum. Lullaby of the False Hydra. I will, I will. Mm. Right, since we're already here. Um, Lullaby of the False Hydra. Okay, there is a, a YouTube video. Okay, there's like a genius.com um, Oh, it's all in... Okay, so it's all in Latin for some reason. Ubi abscondis dulcis puer dulcis puer nocte trepidas dulcis puer adsium Alright. Well, I'll, I'll listen to it at some point. I don't. I would never, ever open something like that right now, because I cannot vouch for it being uh, copyrighted or not. But honestly, a false hydra is cool. But if I ever use a false hydra on one of my campaigns, I might as well. I might as well change the stats a little bit, because multi attack, multi reaction. Lullaby with 150 points of, of life and an AC of 15. A party a party level 7 of a, of at least three people maybe be able to fight it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, literally maybe. Right? Like I'm make, I'm already expecting the mage to throw a fireball and hit max roll on all the die at the same time right then yeah then the false hydra can get a little bit spooked and maybe try to hide or burrow or whatever right because they got spooked but man very hard monster to, to fight i i almost killed i almost killed one of my players this was a party of five okay this was a party of five players all level four or I think and they fought a creature called the Bodak and I almost killed one of them the it, the Bodak has like 56 hit points but it has like death gaze death aura and a bunch of other stuff all right Well, if you have, if you have the, if you have the silence, but here's the thing, let's see. No, yeah, you can cast silence. It, it's immune to being blinded, charmed, deafened, grappled, prone, stunned, knocked, or unconscious, but it's not immune to being silenced. So you can, yeah. Bless you. Yeah. Okay, um by the way, alt player, have you ever watched the Doctor Who? Because I had an I had an idea for the false hydra, but I need to know if you ever watched Doctor Who because I wanna get get an idea from Doctor Who and put it on top of the false hydra and ask your opinion if you think it's cool.
Now watch something. I think it's cool. Okay, so... No, 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 no. You didn't even hear the idea. You don't know if it's cool yet. In Doctor Who... No, not Weeping Angels, no. Nothing to do with Weeping Angels. So, you... In Doctor Who, there is a particular race of alien, right? This alien race is called the Silence. And what the Silence is all about is, if you already don't know... And this is a spoiler, by the way, this is a spoiler. So before I continue, tell me now. Because I, j I will stop. Ready to revisit the past? So I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. you change my map, and the closer we get to finding the temple in the present day. Okay. Let's go. So the thing with the silence is. Greetings. Downwards, yeah. The thing with the silence is, they can control your mind in the following manner. Every single time you look at the silence you remember every single other time you encounter them. But every single time you stop looking at them, you forget that they exist. Damn it. Good job. I don't know what happened there. I just cucked myself. Okay. That felt really bad. Anyway, so what I'm thinking is, and, and then what the gang of the Doctor Who did to counter that, or at least mitigate the effects, because not even the doctor could uh, could protect himself against the the silence effectively. They started making marks with a sharpie on their arms. Yeah, they started making so every single time one of them saw uh, one of them, they would stare at them, grab the sharpie, and make a mark on their arms. So. Prior to that, they had a discussion about doing that. So they were periodically checking their own arm. And during the episode, suddenly they would see marks appearing on their arms. Like, oh, one, oh, three, oh, seven, you know? Like, out of nowhere. And then my idea is, if you want to make it super creepy, super creepy with the... With the... False Hydra, you could put something like that, that the players had had multiple encounters with the False Hydra, because the False Hydra has been lurking and toying with them and just stalking them in the shadows, but they keep, but then the role plays that they kept failing the, the wisdom saving throw up until now, and now they remembered that the Hydra is there. You know, that would do that would make a pretty good uh, horror RPG I think the temple looms yeah uh, I made a mistake there what did you do well the teleporter which is the little thing that teleports me out of the temple was right in the middle of the map and while I was trying to walk I clicked on it to exit without pretty much finishing anything. So any reward I could have had is gone. And then my temple gets less valuable because of it. I need more mana. <laughs> Look up False Hydra Encounter. Don't worry, I have the entire page of it open. It has encounter, it has DMing, it has everything in there. I'll, I'll look in a second. Or I'll, I'll gloss over, because I'm kind of busy.
There you are. Ready to revisit the past? The more you kill, the more you change my map. And the closer we get to finding the temple in the okay, present Okay, up day. and left. Up and Time left. Time to go. Oh, the fortunate. Oh, more stuff. I mean, divine orbs are not that great anymore, but I'll take them. Players in the area can gain increased item rarity. Oh, another one of these. Awesome. <clears throat> yes, I use a lot of homebrew. <clears throat> well, depends. I first ask the people that are going to play with me if they want to play something like a one shot i make my one shot i create my story and my encounters etc etc if there's a particular enemy that i want to use but i think it's too strong i make a i make my own version of that enemy and we start with that if my players are interested and then i ask would you like would you guys like a longer adventure then i shove in the homebrew too much clutter i need more mana because that is the true essence of playing dnd is making your own shit so homebrew is only makes sense The only thing I don't do homebrew of is Hello. classes. Because some classes, I cannot really vouch for how broken they are. Because there are already some interactions with classes and the subclasses. They are choose, absolutely Caesar. disgustingly good. Like, so broken. Now, imagine somebody knows all of that about those classes and they go like, Hmm... If I make a custom class that has this, this, and that, oh, there we go, you know? Immortal class. Or like, you know, 60 hit points of damage class on turn one that is a class level three. Like, bro, calm down, please. Please, please, oh, please calm down. Like, literally one of my players, he was playing the new official Warlock class. The, the new official Warlock class. That is like a, a Warlock of the Seas or something like that, or whatever. Like, they worship Krakens or something, I don't know. There was a spell in there that allowed them to create a hole in the ocean. Create a hole in the ocean. Like, maybe of, like, 30 feet by 30 feet hole in the ocean. There was a pirate ship that I made a whole encounter for them. A whole encounter. And then the motherfucker just go, like, I make a hole under, in the ocean, under the pirate ship. They, then they sh just sank to the bottom. They just sank to the bottom, their ship broke. There we go. And if there is such a thing as a fall damage, which there is technically in D&D, they died of all they all died of fall damage. Yeah. And that is an official that's a new official class.
And like I made a whole encounter like, oh, if the players do this, that happens. If the players decide to do that other thing, that happens. And like I made like several interactions, but I did not account for the new class, the new D&D uh, Warlock to make a literal area, a little spot in the ocean that have no water in it all the way to the bottom of the ocean. For example, you know why that there is a particular unearthed arcana, there's a particular unearthed arcana spell that I never let my players get. That's why whenever we're creating classes, I say no unearthed arcana. Whatever spell that you see that has a U, UA in them, don't take it. <clears throat> there is a spell that wizards can get that allow wizards to heal themselves. And wizards recover their spell slots with a short rest. No. Don't. Don't let them. That is stupid. Ah, oh, there you are. Why? Ready to revisit the past? <laughs> Wizard is already one of the classes that get the most spell slots in the game. They get the most spell slots because they, they are primarily a caster. So they cast and they cast a lot and they cast well. All that you need to do is have one wizard that has like, let's say, a spell slot level 5 or 5th level. He cast a healing, he cast a healing spell with level 5, recover all of his hit points. And then fireball, 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 fireball. They will took damage again, heal again. Fireball, 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 fire. You know? Like, uh, the idea is that the wizard is a glass cannon. He does fireball. But he cannot does he cannot do fireball and heal himself at the same time. That's why, for example, uh Red Mage in Final Fantasy XIV, they can heal themselves, yes. But they're primarily damaged. Their healing is just a small little utility. But ideally, they're going to be healed by the healer. And that's why the healer has so many healing spells. And they are extremely effective. Like, one tap, they go more than half of their health easy. Right? That's, that's, the, that's the point. Now if, you, now, if you would give the Red Mage one cast of Benediction every, I don't know, five minutes. People would play Red Mage all the time and Black Mage would stop, would, just would stop existing. Let's go. Hello, Exile. Ah, oh, there you are. Ready to revisit the past? At least that's my opinion. Right? It's like, for example, it's like that situation with Salvador, Salvatore, uh, fucking Gun, Gunzerker in Borderlands 2. There's this character named Salvatore. He is a Gunzerker. What is a Gunzerker? A Gunzerker is a Berserker, but with guns. Right? So, by default, by default, he regains his own health super fast. Because that's his thing. That because he's a berserk. Right? A gun circuit, that is. And he recovers his health super fast. Because of his ability, he also can use two weapons at the same time. He can akimbo. So he can do guns akimbo. Now, what happens with that? There is a gun in the game called the Grog Nozzle. What does the Grog Nozzle do? Every single time, there is a chance that the Grog Nozzle effect will occur. It's a pretty high chance. The Grog Nozzle makes your character drunk. But, while under the effect of that drunkness, every damage you deal gets healed back as health for you. What happens? The Gunzerker gets, let's say, a pistol that is like one of the most damaging pistols in the game. 
and then the Grog Nozzle in the second hand. He activates Gunzerking. Now he's shooting like 100% faster. He can hold both weapons at the same time. He can deal like more damage, more this, more that, on top of having the Grog Nozzle heal, him, heal himself, on top of also having basic health regeneration uh, because of Gunzerking. And now. He's not a character that has a flaw anymore. <laughs> He's just a character that just goes in, kills everything, and that's it. Gone. Goodbye. Have any of those players in the old campaign? Did they ever get wish? Wish? No. They never got wish. No. <laughs> oh man, wish. What a meme. That's great. I love wish. And do you create your own paths, or do you use any Age of Worms? Okay, so I don't even know what Age of Worms is, <laughs> and I create and I create my own paths. If you ask me to sit down and create something, some story to be followed in D and D, I can sit down, and within an hour, I'm gonna have at least nine pages for you. Man, it's so terrible. Oh. I do not know uh, Age of Worms, no. The Dark Age of uh, D&D. Right. Well, I mean, I don't know everything about D&D. Like, I, I know how to play. I've seen a few things, but I'm not like a D&D scholar that, oh, I need to know all the lore. I know some lore. I know about the phlogiston and the gods and the space of D&D. I know about the, um, the uh, astral realm. But I do not know the Age of Worms. I'll gladly research it though, sounds interesting. Oh, don't worry, uh, Jay-Z. Uh, you play D&D. &D. Name every item, exactly. Uh, well, you have weapons, you have uh, magic items, you have armors. 
You have potions and you have adventuring gears. And Trinket. you have trinkets. Yeah. And that about covers it. I mean, you have, I guess, gold and precious metals, but yeah. That about covers it. Luffy, can you help me test something on the Sims later? Oh, yes, absolutely. Because fake metrics don't really help my channel. Like, when I mean fake metrics, I mean like inflated metrics. <laughs> he said he was earlier. Hello. It's like, uh, you know, it's like, it's like um, buying uh, views, right? Like, like you buy, a, you buy one of those bot views that just log in on like a thousand phones and then pull out all tiles and connect it, right? It inflates the the metrics but in the long run it's like, yeah, you're having the views but there's no interaction. The algorithm's not going to do much about it anyways. But in fact, it's it's more it's 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 more algorithmically profitable for somebody, for sorry, for for an argument about politics to start under your Minecraft video, and then you have a hundred people arguing politics in there for some reason, than having only those hundred people watch your video. Because now the algorithm is going to go like, oh, there's a lot of things happening here. Maybe there's the, like something interesting happening. Let me, let me recommend this video. And there we go. Now you have uh, a lot of interaction in the video. That counts a lot. A lot. I mean, he is my benefactor, but it's still. I mean, he's he already did enough. Like, you know, he already did enough. Like, for example, he... Uh, got me a bunch of gift gifted subs, and my second benefactor, Nyx, bought the the highest uh, bought the highest uh, membership possible, which is Coffee Kaiju. So, you know, like both of them already did, did enough. Oh yeah, we were talking about the, the, the false hydra. Hang on. Alright, so we have here... Um, here we go. Using the false hydra as a DM, for example, right? Looking through these stats, you should notice a few minor templating errors. It is homebrew content, after all. But there's also something rather important missing the cr yeah i i know i noticed that missing this that's exactly what was my comment about it must be at least a cr challenge rating 10 because i didn't see a cr number <laughs> so i guessed it's hp and most um powerful abilities are directly tied to the number of heads right which is meant as a sort of throttle to keep the monster easier or more difficult right 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 number of heads equal to half the number of pcs plus one right 
which for say a normal party of four would mean three heads yeah yeah sure they're telling me that but i figured that out by myself just by looking at the stats of the creature you don't have to tell me that um yeah okay blah 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 then yeah plug deers mirrors true scene yeah There's a little... Uh, where is it? Uh, oh, it's up here, okay. Imagine you walk into a small town, everything seems alright, except it's a little off. The town seems pretty big, but you don't see nearly as many people as there should be. Dozens of houses lie empty and dilapidated, and everybody you ask says nobody ever lived in them. Animals keep freaking out unexpectedly. You trip over seemingly nothing. You are yeah, exactly trip over seemingly nothing. Exactly what I exactly what I said about making the players kind of forget that they ever see the Hydra. Exactly. That's arrive in the inn by a lovely married couple in the morning, but the wife is but only the wife remains. She claims she was never married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Makes sense. All of that makes sense. Okay, so rarity of items dropped, drop additional fusing, uh, chance of pack to be upgraded to rare. Oh, really? Neat. Four to six, six to fourteen. Thirteen to twenty-one. Yeah, none of, none of these really compare to each other, do they? One to one. One to one? That's terrible. That, that is so bad. Can I not have this? This is so garbage. Ugh. Even this one's better. Five to seven. Rarity. I don't know if rarity affects this thing. Would it? Oh, guys, let's find out. Let's find out. Ooh, 25% fracture implicit modifiers. Nice. I need more mana. Hunt or be hunted, exile! This one is captured. I now will take it. Where are my Karui tattoos, huh? Where are my Karui tattoos?
have been scammed. Greatest scam in the story of Path of Exile thus far. Weapons of crafting? What does that mean? Scarcer, maybe? I can yield, uh, sure. Down and right. Time to go. I need more mana. Eh. That's all right. <clears throat> if Wani doesn't get his title for nothing, I see. He's been very industrious in keeping himself alive and in business. <laughs> oh, almost leveling, and then I die. Oh, but uh, yeah, my token got consumed. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I knew it was gonna come in handy. Maybe if I get like a couple more of those, that's how I'm going to um, get my character to level 100. Just have like a bunch of those in inventory all the, at all times. I took this off the farm, but I don't even know. Is it good? Oh, yeah, precious. We take it. Ah, oh, there you 
are? Ready to revisit the past? The okay, uh, change, magic monsters, life. explosive. The we get to the in the Royal meeting. Go up and go. up, I guess. Let's go. Hello. Farewell. Oh, what is that? Oh, right, never mind. I thought it was something. That it was something nice. Oh, yo, really? Nice. Killer. Killer fast. Silver Comet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ikaho. Ooh. That's what I thought. Big energy shield and no life at all. The turn two of the scouting. Ah, come on, really? That's it? That's, that's terrible. Come on, dude! Oh my god! <sighs> you know what? Whatever. Who cares, right? <sighs> uh, who cares? It's fine. I, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. You can stay. I love you, Mark. All of this suck. The in the present day. So down, I guess, go down as well. Let's go. I need more mana.
when I'm ready and not before. Good job. experiments into electrical light. Why is my Val Summon Skeletons not in its socket? Somebody's calling me for some reason or another. Okay, never mind. It was um, it was my dad. I, I barely heard something. This kind of sounded like my name, but he could have possibly be talking to the dog instead. I need more mana. Look upon this capture with pride, exile. You hunt well. What caused that much lag? This one is captured. I now will take it.
Oh, hello. Okay, that's cool. I didn't, I didn't get the point, so they have a natural chance of occurring. Okay, so they have a natural chance of occurring. This is just to make it better. I think. Right? Right here, yeah. Chance to drop from the final boss in each map. Plus two. So they already have a chance that just adds to it. Okay. Well, depends. Uh, we still gotta know how much does that cost this league, right? It could be terrible. It costs 14 Chaos Orbs. Wow. It, these were costing like from 50. From 50 to 80 Chaos Orbs in the previous league. 14 on this one. Hello. Okay. Well, literally every strategy that I used to make money in the previous league it seems to be gone in this one. Alright. Back to the drawing board, boys. Back to the drawing board. Starting from scratch. We're learning the game anew. From the beginning. Oh, did I finish the... Yes. Okay, here we go. I did uh, take the Chronicles. Uh, let me just check the... the... So, 50. So, people don't really much care about... Yeah, they don't really much care about this one right here, the Museum of Artifacts. That's fine. Uh, I don't care. I don't care that they don't care, but I want to try 
and use it for profit. The question is, what is profit, right? How can we make the profit? And the question that I, the only question I need answered is, how much does an Empower level 5 cost? Empower. Empower level 5. Uh, sure, doesn't, the, that doesn't matter, so long as it's not corrupted. Really? 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 Unless... Okay, Empower. Gem level... Okay, what's max level for Empower, then? It's level 4. So, wait. Level 4? But is that, like... Gem level 3, then? Ah, right. Okay, so gem level 3. Gem level 3. Corrupted, no. Go. So, people want just about two divines for this. And apparently, people are selling things for Chaos Orbs instead of divines, and I don't understand why. What is this sudden shift of things? Like, I don't get it. It's two plus two, right? So, I don't guess, I guess it, does, it wouldn't matter, or would it? Level four, and it go. So three, this, okay, that must be a plus three. So a plus, uh, a level four costs 13 divines. So, I can try and spend some money on a non-corrupted version of an Empower. That is just about two divines. Okay, so, if I buy one, I open the temple right here. I go to the Museum of Artifacts, and then I use the author to corrupt the Empower. And if it goes to level 3, sorry, if it goes to level 4, I would have just about quintuple the amount of money I spent buying it. So, shall we go for some gambling today, boys? That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Shall we go for a little bit of gamba? High reward, low risk, I guess. But I mean, not low risk. It, it's high risk of losing, but the investment is low. I guess we, we could, we could win, we could and we should. Okay. Uh, this music is... Uh, this music is from the Spongebob game from PlayStation 2. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna invest two... Two Divine Orbs on something that might backfire horribly. But I'm very curious to try. more 
Ouch. Stay lucky. Okay, the guy that I was trying to buy that from didn't answer. Maybe it's a sign? I don't know. All that I know is that I kind of need it. Or I could maybe use it on my raise Spectre to get a raise Spectre 21 and... There we go, we're done. We're, we're good. All right? How much is a raise Spectre level 21, I wonder? Two divines. Not that much. Yeah, I really don't understand the, like this sudden shift in price of things. Three hundred and forty-nine. If one exalt is one forty, then that guy is asking. Is asking for 2.4 2. Uh, 2. divine. So it's not not a terrible price, but man, wow. I'm actually more surprised that I couldn't. Like, I just want to do a small little gamble. Come on. Anyone. Somebody. Let's go. Come on. Sell it to me. It doesn't seem like anyone is interested. Like, they put for sale, but... Oh, never mind. Some of the... There we go. Now, we spent a lot of money. A lot of money. However, should what I'm about to do pay off, we're going to make five times that amount spent. Five times. But before we get into it, I must get myself some coffee, but here we go. These two things together right here. I want everyone's finger crossed. Even your toes. Cross them. I'll be right back.
Well, fortunately, he's neither a smoker or your dad, so he'll be back soon. This would be a good time if anybody needs a bathroom break or a snack. Anyone out there is watching this as a VOD later, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, save us to your playlist. <laughs> Click the little bell so you know when we upload again. <laughs> you could at least use a little posture check. Straighten your back, relax your shoulders, all that good stuff. Well, did you clean up the dishes after your tacos? Did you spend six hours writing the word V on the corner of a white piece of paper in medieval gothic typeface? I just had breakfast today. Like two sunny side up eggs and some toast and turkey sausage. And Wolfie just had a little snack so far. Okay. And of course, coffee. And I am back. Wolfie, come with you. Oh, miss me no more. I'm right here. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, let's go. Now it's time to do something cray cray. But, <laughs> yeah, if it pays, it's gonna pay handsomely. It's gonna pay me in dividend. In dividends. Oh, sorry. Um, sadly, I'm gonna end up having to leave, uh, you know, many times, because if you want a high octane stream, I need to at least have some moderate amount of coffee. It's in the middle of the jungle. Right, so, we're gonna spend 2.4 Divine right now on the vain, misguided attempt of transforming those 
into 13.4 or more. When I'm ready and not before. I don't think I drink nearly enough. Well, you're definitely under quota today. Mm-hmm. Some sweet tea. I mean, I do drink tea sometimes. My favorite, my favorite uh, flavor of tea is uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass with a little tiny splash of mint. He is the superior drink, but relationships are all about coffee. Right. <laughs> I really never drink coffee till I'm about eight. Mm. Well, the, um, ideally you drink whatever you like, and if you do drink coffee, then hopefully it's... Uh... It's something that you also enjoy, right? You don't need to drink black, you don't need to yeah. drink latte, you drink whatever whatever pleases you, I suppose. I mean, uh, it's pretty good, but I don't think I'll ever drink coffee the way you do, but I drink tea the way you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. You drink tea the way I drink tea, or you drink tea the way I drink coffee? Like, I have... More co I'd probably consume more tea than I consume any food or beverage every mm -hmm. day, all day. <laughs> and somehow my teeth are not yellow. Hmm. My teeth are also not yellow. I mean, not like super yellow. I mean, every every teeth that is not like straight up. Uh, I went to the dentist office to get them whitened. Has a little tinge to them, but this is only normal. But I, I do enjoy just some like regular yerba mate with lemon on a on a uh, on a hot day, you know. Pretty good. <laughs> well, when I say lemon, I mean lime, because we don't make that particular distinction here in Brazil. Not only do you not make the distinction, but you don't tend to have the actual lemon song. I, if we do, <laughs> if we do, I never used one ever. Mm -hmm. They do taste different, but they're both really good. So long as they're sour. Mm -hmm. Well, to me, I think limes are slightly sweeter than a lemon. Hmm. I mean, they don't taste sweet at all to me in, in any capacity. You're not firing on all cylinders yet. Hmm. <laughs> I think my favorite is when you first make the sweet tea and then it's still kind of hot, but you pour it over a cup of ice and then it's like this weird kind of in between. It's like the ice partially melts. And it's cold, but it's still kind of like little warm pockets. 
I mean, I can't complain. My favorite combination is eating ice cream besides a hot mug of coffee. I can't, I don't know how you do that. Like, my teeth are way too temperature sensitive to be doing all that. No, my teeth are also temperature sensitive. And in fact, my front teeth are. My back teeth, not mm -hmm. so much. I just make sure that I never bite my ice cream. That's all. It's all tongue and roof. And no, I don't get uh, brain freeze. No, only if I really go overboard. Only if I go out of my way to really try and get me a brain freeze, then it does happen. Uh, simple. The way you never get a brain freeze is to not chow down your ice cream like, like a fucking animal. You know? Respect the ice cream. Let the ice cream caress your taste buds gently. You know? Enjoy it in small little spoons. And of course, whenever you have some ice cream, make sure that however fast you eat because of the amount that you decided to bring is melting, just get a smaller pint. If you want, if you want another, just get another pint. Yeah, I can't go there. Well, I suppose that's why we have. Uh, I suppose that's why we have this emote in the channel, right? The Mega Pint. But yours is a cup of coffee. I mean, a pint is a pint, right? It could be a pint of ice cream inside of the inside of the inside of the mug. I don't think so. <laughs> oh yeah, because that is a specifically a a coffee a mug, right? Coffee. Yeah, a takeout. Yeah. I can make you an ice cream version. I mean, I already I already have that version. I can just change to the to the ice cream. Unless you have a different idea for a different design. Mm -hmm. I'll think of something. Okay. Mega point. When I'm ready and not before. The word pint looks like pint. But I don't know how I would change it to make it look like pint. Mm hmm. Well, what do you mean? It just based on English's standards, which is very varying. It looks like it should be pronounced pint. Yeah, pint. Yes. I, I'm trying to think. How would I spell it so that it looks like it would be pronounced pint? And why would you need? Oh, you're just wondering, just for curiosity's yeah. sake. Yes, that is the reference. Yes, but. Um. Well, because since Did English, maybe, because since English doesn't use, well, English doesn't do many things, right? Because a pint would be P A I N T, but that's paint, and it's only paint because the letter A sounds like. A instead of A, which is it's how many other languages use that particular letter to have an A sound, not an A sound. Yeah, because English has like every vowel can have multiple sounds to it. So I need mm -hmm. And whomever had that idea should be shot on sight. Yes, it's so good. 
anyway. Um, but then if I spelled it like a pie, then it would look like peant. <laughs> Maybe P-Y-N-T might look like pint. I suppose that you could make... Well, since multiple... Multiple vowels can have multiple sounds, I suppose you can come up with whatever you like. By own English rules, you can come up with whatever you like. Alright, here we go, here we go. This is why we came here today. We came here for this room. Okay, here we go. This will either be an epic moment or an epic fail, but let me not die first. Hang on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna station. Oh, never mind. I gotta kill this guy first. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let me pause the music. Okay, pause the music. All right. A moment of silence, please. Because now, um, where is the, the device? Is right there. Okay. So we came here today for one thing. This. Right here. Now. Corrupt a skill or support gem, modifying it unpredictably twice. Either this is going to be an awesome Pog Champ moment, or it's going to be one of the most painful things that will happen to me today. Workout that I'm about to do in a, in, in a few minutes or whatever. Included. Drum roll, please. Ha! Okay, it's the least worst thing that could happen. Mm -hmm. So do you mean it's like... Like one step below the best, or do you mean it's towards the bottom and it's not the worst? So, the worst thing is this gem will be destroyed. I would lose it forever. It's not destroyed, but it's not upgraded. It is downgraded. But I, I still have it. So, I can still use it. But that is it. So, I could have lost this, but I didn't, I didn't gain anything. I only lost the money. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So... I managed to transform 2.4 div right now into like 60 chaos orbs. Very nice. That is sarcastic, by the way. I need more mana. Well, okay, music can come back now.
Too much clutter. Okay, is there anything else interesting in this place? Dorian's Institute have been there already. Uh, that, okay, Wealth of the Val, here we go. Maybe. Maybe we can still come out of here with a Consolation Prize. Okay, here we go, let's start. One. Two. Uh, uh, uh. Mm-hmm. Three. Uh, uh, uh. Too much clutter. Four. And five. Okay, no consolation prize for me. But in fact, it would have been better, probably, if I just sold this to a player. Okay, so Royal Meeting Room, Hurricane Engine, I've already been to the most worthy ones. Let's go to the Apex, maybe kill the boss and get out. <clears throat> oh, that's a shame to hear, then. I hope you get better. And if watching whatever I'm doing right now and talking a little bit help you uh, get through, I'm happy. I need more mana. I mean, that's why I try to. That's why I try to make videos, right? That's why I try to entertain people. You know, entertainment uh, as a whole can be. Sometimes the difference between seeing everything gloomy or having a tiny little bit of joy on your day. And that's what it's all about, in my opinion. You know, it's like, uh, to me at least, it's like having that one, you know, that one show when you're a kid that you just can't wait to watch it again, you know? I'm I'm am like that with some streamers too. Like you know, I I love watching Otz Darva playing uh, uh, Dead by Daylight. I love checking out um, this other streaming other streamer called Aaron. Greetings. I love checking out fucking Rise QT playing Path of Exile as well. Uh, 
not sure what is in here on the corner, I guess. I was not expecting that, but I kind of envisioned that happening. And it's just as equally distressing as I picture it being. God damn it. Oh, and so as I said, so long as you so long as you behave yourself and you stay as chill as you have always been, you are more than welcome to more than welcome to be around. As I say on almost every stream, please sit down, relax, and enjoy the stream. I was say, even if people just are just watching because they want like a background noise while they do anything else, that's fine by me. I remember that, like, for some re for some reason, Market Player playing Subnautica was my go-to background noise whenever I was drawing, right? Like making like long uh, like drawing sessions. I don't know there was something about it that just made me concentrate, but not too much. To the point where I would like alt tab, take a little break, like watch to see why the fuck is marker player screaming again. I just hope that oh I guess it doesn't matter because I do have the I have the Brass Dome. Doesn't matter. Sorry, I'm thinking to myself. I'm I'm thinking like uh, about the boss having like extra criticals and stuff, but I, I have the Brass Dome for a reason. The problem is that this boss can deal like a lot of damage. It it often do. It's dangerous. It could be. It could potentially kill me. Okay, go to the middle. Nice. Now it's the minion phase. Move, 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 move. I did not see that he was already awake again. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be the fire one, right? Oh, dude, it happened again. God damn it. Alright, fine. 80% again. I was really looking forward not to die, but eh, whatever. Hello. 
Keep your life to your own. Long day. Okay, now give me my reward. Um, no, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, uh, nope. Probably not. I mean, I can pick it up. I see. I guess. One point five divine. Sincerely doubt it, but sure. Yeah, not good. At least I don't think. Right, I suppose I, I, I can try and sell all of them. I don't. I don't think I care. Not good. And this is the tempered mind minus one per located passives, two mana recovery rate per. Okay. Passives in radius. It could. It could be good if you're doing mana stacking, I guess. But then you have transcendent mind. That that is uh, boggers. Okay, just a little bit more, and then that will be it for today, because I do have more things to do. I have a workout session to get to, I have to do more emotes. I'm gonna try and do one. Uh, and then there are some movies that I... Uh, that my boyfriend and our friend were talking about watching, probably today, then... There's plenty of other compromises I've made for my day. Wait, oh, did I accidentally sell them? I might have. No, I just placed them here. Oh, a claw with elemental rest? That's not good. Sure. 50 chaos. 50 chaos. Uh, this thing, I have no idea. I don't know. As far as how much goes, this one is kind of kind of lame. Yeah, kind of lame. That one. We'll try one divine. And this thing. Really? Wow. Sure, we we'll try. One div. Greetings. Go with courage.
well, a workout session, then I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna start designing the next e the next emote, and then movies. Everything dies. Oh, well. <sighs> Stopped to read something on the floor for like two seconds and I died. When I'm ready, and not before.
its branching exile. It's put out new mycelium. Ah, uh, new roots. can really do. Do not let them reach the purification pump. Mana. Wait, there, oh, there's just there. Not before. That's not a bad ring, actually. I mean, there's not a lot special to it, but it's, it's pretty good. O overall, it's pretty good. Venter's Gamble. Oh, hello. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, we take that for sure. Okay, it is. 
It is 6.30 p.m. for me, so I think it's time, it's time to go now. Uh, <laughs> as I said, many other things to do, but thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks so much for watching. Yeah, thank you. Subscribe, safety playlist, hit the little bell so you don't miss out. Mm -hmm, don't forget to do all of that. Also... Uh, thank you uh, to Jay-Z for more gifted subs. Uh, you really don't have to be as generous as, as you have been, but thank you so much. It does help. And uh, to anyone else, uh, we do have a join button. If you uh, feel like contributing to the channel even further, you can consider joining it to the members. You get channel badges, emotes, and you, get, you help the channel stay afloat for a lot longer. Um... Another stream tomorrow. Um, we're going to be doing more Path of Exile, and hopefully by maybe next week we're going to start doing a little bit more variety. Um, as I said, I've been kind of getting this urge to play Inscription again, and there is a fresh new mod ready for me to sink my teeth in, so we might be doing that next week. In any case, thank you so much. If you've been watching this just even as your background noise, you're doing more than I could possibly ask for. Uh, in any case, thank you so much. Hopefully, I'll be seeing you beautiful exile in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Everyone, take care. Ah. <sighs>